Okay, so we were kind of lost here. Last week. Traveling through literally cyberspace, I think is what they called it. Hacking. We're hacking the system. Partner, now partner. You hang out with streamers. You enjoy. Right on, Big Z. Same here, man. I don't care how many viewers you got. If you're a fun channel and I feel good there, I'm going to hang out. That's it. <laughs> like, that's it. That's the end of the story. That's the consideration. Oh, I did that too, Darkens, but it was on accident. I literally landed on him, stole his ball. He didn't wake up. I don't know how I did that. It was weird. I think we fought a boss here last week. What do you mean we don't hang out there because we want to? I do. <laughs> I think it's fun. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, he, doubt he technically qualifies. Why not? I don't know that name. He's new to the Twitch grind. Does he like it though? Like, is he, you know, is he entertaining? Is he enjoying the hobby? I'm not sure who that person is. I hope you're joking, Bong. <laughs> you better be joking. You know what I think about people bashing other streamers. It's not something we do here. Smart ass. <laughs> uh. He is good people, yeah. <clears throat> He's of Giant Bomb and Game Informer fame. Oh yeah, I never heard of him. That is a new name to me. <laughs> Maximilian is growing? I thought that guy was like peaked at like several thousands. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, he's still going? Man, that guy's awesome. Every time I see him live, it's like 10,000 viewers or like 8,000. Crazy. Who's my favorite growing streamer? That's a good question. Is it a nice way to see streamers with less followers? Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. He's growing on you. Okay. Well, that's not what the question is. Growing streamers, in my opinion, are ones that aren't at the top of... <laughs> do, do. I don't know where to go anymore in this place. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, no. Two damage. Later, Michiel. Good to see you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Gartanamo. <laughs> That's pretty darn funny. That's clever. Built up a recurring segment called Smashy Bet where his backstory stables and drama between his 80 plus amiibos. And everyone bets on CPU fights. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. All right. I think I might need to leave here now. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Just had to adjust something there. I'm trying to remember why we came here in the first place.
Pokemon Chrome? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Pretty clever. Very astute observation skills. <laughs> you, little guy, move. They're apparently not hostile. But they do get in the way. Where, 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 where? Haven't seen this game in a while. Oh, you haven't hung out in a while, have you? Well, I hope you enjoy it. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Dun, 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 dun. Doodle, 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 doodle. All right, well, that's an empty room. Like, we might be done here. Can I announce a time span opening? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What's a time span opening? <laughs> Zappy zap, sword four, doing work. Thousand gold. Nice. Oh, right. Time span opening. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is that? Na, 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 na. I don't know if we're done in this fortress or not. Let's go to Rococo. They're opening the border. Oh, okay. Give me a hint. Damn it. <laughs> Noxa, where do I go? <laughs> See if I got all these adventure friends. Looks like I got them all. I see what she's saying. these inventor friends. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I think I just gotta follow. Thank you. If anyone knows where the hell I'm supposed to go right now, I could use that help because it's been a week since I played this. I'm really baffled. Talk to me when you're trouble. I'm trouble. Maybe the real mayor will know. <clears throat> nope, he's not yet useful. He's complaining about women right now. That sucks, Darkblade. I appreciate you not saying their name. I'm glad you were doing that. Because that, you know, you know me, I'm not about dragging others. Even if they deserve it, it's just not my vibe. You know? That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Three, three, what Thor? 
Thor. Are you okay? <laughs> Thor has many threes for us. <laughs> uh, all of the threes, in fact. Is there a cat present? There might be. I think his roommate has a cat. Secret code accepted. Terminator activated. Oh, no. <clears throat> That's not good. Where's Chobin when you need him? He'd know where to get. I should go. I just need to get back on track. I don't know if I was done here. Maybe I wasn't done here. That's the thing. What? There we go. We killed a boss in quote unquote cyberspace, right? Its name was literally Jub Jub. <laughs> That's what its name was. It was Jub Jub. It sure did, Thor. Sure did. We noticed, I promise. Oh man, you want to see an evidence of how bad the localization is in this game? I love this game, but look, let's try to use the blimp. Blimp can't be used here. <laughs> Guys, I'm really heartbroken right now. I can't use my blimp. I don't know what to do now. I can't use my blimp. Greeny, I want to eat poutine. You gonna give me some? Can you give me some protein? I like the lower sol sodium versions. Yeah, that was the good stuff. <clears throat> The normal stuff, I was sent two gravy packets so I could make protein. Specifically to make it, right? One was normal, one was low sodium. The normal one, oh, it sat in my stomach like a salt lick. It was, I couldn't finish it. Like, it was so salty. It was like one of the saltiest things I've ever eaten in my life. I could not do it. So, I don't know, like a week later, try the uh, the low sodium one. And it was delicious. Oh my God. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Apparently, poutine low sodium is really just normal amount of sodium. Whew. Like an intense amount. Sammy, I don't think you would have liked it either. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have. Like, I'd be willing to put money on it. <laughs> yeah, it was more than that. In one dish. <laughs> pretty confident in that. Hi, Lickety. You have a nice cat hair. It was, it was like, it, it, it hurt to eat it. That's how salty it was. Okay, I think we're in the right spot now. All right. This looks promising. Or I could push up instead of left. Loki, what's up? How are you? You like that, Darkens? Yeah, that's her. Exactly, Flair. Man. This sword is great. All right, so our goal, lower the water. That's what we need to do. I'm going to rub your tummy. Mm -hmm. 
This completes Shrine 78. Are you hunting them out um, without a guide? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Your cat is sick. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear. I think we might need these glasses. Let's look for hidden... Hidden areas. Dang. Ha ha ha! Okay. And there's these weird face guys. I'm just gonna keep... I'm gonna wear these the whole time now. Everything's gonna be a little red. It's gonna be a little red. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. I had to load my notes. Yeah, question tonight, your favorite growing streamers. Someone asked mine. I like Tragic on Twitch. She's pretty good. She's up and coming. Good lady. A lot of laughs over there. What else? Who else? Bear boo. What? Give me that. Shot two. What's Starkblade? I don't know what those acronyms are. <clears throat> Bearboo's a good one. Tragic on Twitch are good. Growing streamers. Skyward Sword now playable. Right on. Oh, look who it is. It's the Queen of Retro. Look who it is. <laughs> uh, how about that? How about that? What's up, Mantle? Good to see you. Jay Fries, Sandy AJ, Brother Bill. Brother Bill. Do 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 do. I don't know what that is either, Dark Blade. Ash, how was your stream? Did you have a good time? Thank you everybody for choosing my channel to hang out in coming along in that raid supporting the queen of retro herself what were you playing tonight i'm doing well we're just playing a little robo truck kind of lost but i'm getting a vibe of where i'm supposed to go oh yeah oh yeah i am always good i have a cat in front of me check it out if you folks don't know me my name is phenomenon we play a lot of retro games here we play rpgs uh, we also do D&D &D every couple months, and um, Zelda, which we're almost done with. Almost. You did some Anstream Arcade? Oh, right on. How did that go? What did you play? While you guys uh, get comfortable, I'll show you a quick little video to give you a taste of what we're about. And if you like what you see and you hear, don't be afraid to hit that follow button. Our follows are anonymous here. I can't even see the name of the follows. Uh, and no one else can either, so you never have to worry about being called out. There we go, that's better. Mappy, what's Mappy? What's Mappy? Do 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 do. There you go. There you go. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Ash, for thinking of me for your raid choice tonight. There are 
hundreds of thousands of Twitch channels that stream regularly. And you are here in this one. And I hope you enjoy your time here. It's a cute arcade game where you play as a mouse and have to save items stolen by some cats. <laughs> that does sound cute. Oh, I like the sound of that. What is that? Is that originally? Oh, you said it's arcade. Okay. Interesting. This is my cat, Lickety. She's just taking up desk real estate right now. Here, you can probably see her if I do this. One sec. A lot of people like cats on the internet, so... <laughs> She's just chilling here. Yep, that's her. Yep. Desk cat. She's being a desk cat. Yeah. Repossessing. Yeah, there you go. Our nightly staring contest. There you go. They get those chin ropes. That's the best right there. That's the best right there. Was that good? Now I can't see your face, you goof. She's fine with it. <laughs> she don't mind. <clears throat> do, 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 do. It's the life of a cat, you know? That's why we have a diva emote. That's her with her crown viewing her subjects. Beans better than face? Fair. She's got life figured out. She does. She knows where to be. She knows where to be. She's a smart lady. You like those emotes? I wanted to add extra value to tier two and tier three because I don't think Twitch does that really that well. Like, yeah, you get five extra emotes per tier. That's great. So I decided to make the tiers thematic to give them just that a little bit of extra value. So the tier two is cat tier, tier three is cosplay tier. I think it works out. Oh, I went the wrong way. Darn. Ha! Juked. All right. Oh man, did I just go in a circle? I think I did. I think I went in a big circle. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. Yeah, we have finally have the uh, tiers complete. The last one was the Ness emo. He's focusing very hard. Doo -doo. Mizzurl, how you doing, man? What have you been up to lately? What's ever question of the night tonight? Anyone just coming in? Feel free to give us your feedback. Your favorite growing streamers. Streamers on the up and up, you know, coming on up. Finding their stride. I was saying I like Tragic on Twitch is a good one. Uh, Bear Boo is another good one. Um, who else? Yo, Dumb Madness. How are you, Dumb? That is my emote artist right there, folks. The man behind the cutest bears on Twitch. <laughs> uh, you should check him out. He streams uh, his emote creation sometimes. It's I honestly really like working with him. It's so easy to work with Dom. What game are you playing, Mr. Olin? I'm sorry to hear about the personal news there. Wow. <laughs> well, that's one way to give him access to literally every emote he just made. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, we could do it that way, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, that game was Earl. I've seen people stream that. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, yeah. Channel, thank you for the tier three gift sub to Dom. There you go. You get the uh, the Finny Bears, the cat tier, the cosplay tier, and the ad free. Yeah, it was a tier three. Pretty wild. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, I don't know those ones roasted. You can tell us about them if you like. I just... Okay, so... One of the reasons I wanted to ask this question is because I know there are some, like, social etiquettes around talking about other streamers when you're in a live stream, right? For example, telling the streamer you're leaving to go watch someone else, that's kind of not cool, right? It's kind of rude. It's like going to someone's house and telling them you're going to leave to go to someone else's party, you know? Like, it's just rude. But I'm not, like, insecure where I think that just mentioning other streamers is bad, you know? Like, there's such a thing as a time and a place and reading the room and just, like, dropping in a chat to prom self-promote or promote your friends with no interest in the community at all. That doesn't work, does it? Pretty much everyone's going to see right through that. But I'm asking the question. I want to know the streamers you like that are growing right now, you know? There you go, Loki. Just make sure you are enjoying the hobby. And I will say this. Don't... If, if growing is very super important to you, then don't listen to the advice from all the hundred billion other affiliates that say, just play what's fun. Because that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a hobby. I understand that. But if you want to grow playing just whatever that's fun, there's no focus in that. There is no focus in that. <laughs> but if that's all you care about, just streaming for just fun, do it. Absolutely do it. That's what you should do. If that's your only purpose of streaming. If you want to grow your hobby, you need to put some effort into it. And that includes planning. You're going to go watch Phenomenon. How dare you stab me? Look at him leave. Oh, look. Hello. Sammy's here. He's coming to watch Phenomenon. How about that? What a nice guy. <laughs> uh, Lonnie. Oh, Lonnie's a good one. Yeah. Also, a retro Nate is good. He needs to drop those numbers off his name, though, if he can. Is it rude to say a hack could get a run to be a mod now? No. Because you're not really... You're not trying to drag people to that channel, right? You're saying, I gotta go do something. When I'm in a chat... I'm never going to say like, yo, I got to go stream now or uh, I got to go help out in this other stream. I'll say, hey, I got things to do now. Thanks for, you know, thanks for the stream. Yeah. I try to keep it a little vague because I don't want to detract attention away from the vibe that's happening in that channel at the moment, you know? Yeah, Lonnie's a good, good one. Yeah, I like Lonnie. Yeah. Jeff, I feel like you're on the edge, man. Like, you, you almost have it figured out. <laughs> like, you're there. You just, you just, like, right, you know, like, I don't know. There's, like, some lack of focus there for a while. I think you need to dive back into the retro focus and, and promote it better. And I think it'll work out for you. Let's see. There's another one. Um, Shroomy. Shroomy's a good one. I like Shroomy's channel a lot. He's a late night streamer like myself. All right, maybe I go in here. Dr. G's lab. I think this is what I needed to do. All right, let's save. It's too noisy. Okay, let's step out and save. Mm -hmm. 
your first date, right? Yeah. I mean, if it, I've had people like come in, I know when they're about to go. So if they say, Hey, I got to go. I'm like, Oh yeah. Enjoy your stream. You know, whatever, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, the person at the end of the day, I feel like there's enough room on this platform for pretty much everybody. And I don't feel like I'm in competition with other retro streamers. I do have a goal to be one of the top retro streamers on the platform, but that's a long-term overreaching goal. And it's something I want to be able to have so that I can lift others up more easily. Because that's what I want those folks to do for me, and they have. <laughs> so I want to be able to do that for others. I think that's cool. Shaney's Games? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another good one, yep. Yep, yep. You're going to watch my evil twin phenomenon. <laughs> okay, fine. Be that way. Ash, didn't you say this was one of your favorite Super Nintendo games? I hear people who work with computers are strange, and it's true. Be careful. <laughs> what the hell? This game's translation is so weird. <laughs> what are you trying to say here, guy? You're literally in a group called the Hackers. Oh, man. I'm done now. I'm going home. I'm busy with my next project. Okay. All right. Well, we can do a little maintenance here in the R&D lab. Self-aware humor. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe. The, the, the translation of this game has been exceptionally basic. Man, I really don't know what this game wants from me right now. Bomb costs 400 to make. Okay. So... To get this to level 9 would be pretty pricey. Dun, 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 dun. This is, yeah, easy to get. You're taking notes about this game? You never played it? It's very quirky. Uh, it's made by Quintet. They're the same company that made Act Razor 1 and 2, Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, Terra Enigma. Uh, they also made this. I don't know if they made anything else. It's fun. The story is nothing. It's basically nothing. Translation is bad. But damn, this game is, is a lot of fun. I mean, you can craft all of this stuff. Every level, you can find a book that lets you craft new things. And then you can combine scraps. Three and four doesn't work. Three and five make boots four. Like, just... And you don't have to do it. So the craft system is huge in this game. It's a, ma it's a significant part of this game. Wait for them. Wow, that is adorable. Nah, 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 nah. Treat waiting room, yeah. How are you, Drown Wolf? How you doing today? Phil, what do you got coming up? What do you got coming up for, like, your stream or your YouTube? Empty pack. What do I do with that empty pack? Ooh, I could improve bomb three. Can't combine bomb three with bomb one. Oh, because Bomb 1 has to be level 2. Do -do -do. You go back to work next week. Are you excited, nervous, both? I'd be both, personally. I'd be in the both category. Let's see what this head does. I combine level 9, Bomb 1 with Bomb 3. Doesn't work. Okay. Interesting. So I guess I can't level up bombs like that. Keep level nine bomb one. <laughs> okay. We're good there. We still have to figure out where to go. More cast interviews from Final Fantasy VII, releasing your character voice acting reel. 
martial arts film from the Shaolin Temple in China. I thought you finished that. Do you have more things you, you have to do with it? I thought it was done already. Where does this go? You have no idea what you'll be walking into? That's kind of a big mood right there. <laughs> well, best of luck, my friend. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well, whatever it is. We need to try to figure out how to get the water level lowered in this area. All right, that just looped me around. Let's see what's in here. Ah, he got me. <clears throat> that was the documentary of your time training as a warrior monk. This is a full film and fight scene story. Oh, okay. You mean like a proper like movie narrative? Boop, boop. I leveled up. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, da, 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 da. All right, Qbert. What do we want to do with Qbert here? I think we were raising Qbert's attack power. He's got max guard. Look at his chest plate. I wonder if that's because it was his stat. Did the visual change based on your stat? They do. Look at his chest plate right now. You see how he's kind of got like these like plates on it? If I max it out. And now he's got like this emblem on there. <clears throat> That's really cool. <clears throat> That's really cool. All right, let's get more power. Let's just raise that. Heal him up. And that's all we need to do there. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I forgot to wear these. Oh, I got to keep these on. <clears throat> Shoot, he got me. Yeah, I want to wear these infrared goggles because they might show me a hidden entrance somewhere or a switch or something. I don't properly know. If anyone has any idea, I'd be willing to take the hint. Because the last time we were here was last week. So I've gotten lost since then. I don't really know what they need me to do. <clears throat> do, 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 do. All right. You miss Florida? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> I've been to Florida a couple times. I didn't like it. It is too hot and muggy. It's like the antithesis of me. I don't mind humidity if it's like 60 degrees out. <laughs> then I'm good. This didn't help. Hmm. Oh, the enemy respawns in this game are pretty brutal. All right, let's keep our goggles on. <clears throat> I'm 
I've been in there on and off for 15 years. They're still not used to it. Crazy. You're traveling early with Aaliyah. Where are you off to? It's mostly the humidity? Yeah. That just ruins it. Like, I feel like I can't breathe when it's hot and humid. That's always been true. Always. <laughs> Ideal temp is like 55 to 60 F. So that's like... What, it's like 12 to 15 Celsius? <laughs> There's some slick dodges. That wasn't a good dodge. <laughs> we don't need to fight everything, so. Oh man, I can't even get away from this guy. Thought I would kill him. What's new with you, Burr? Anything? Is this Robocop? Yeah. How'd you know? I mean, no. <laughs> it's Robotrek. Take care, Bong. It was nice seeing you. Hey, good luck, Darkens. I hope you get it. Do, 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 do. Mildly medium. I'm sorry, but medium rare is the only acceptable answer for how to cook a steak. We're going to have to re-educate you forcefully. It's unfortunate. It's not a pleasant thing. But, you know, the things we do for the good of others. <laughs> People are like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you go straight medium and you're not ashamed of it? You should be. Should be. Especially from where you grew up. Dude, where you grew up, that thing needs to still be mooing. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You go medium rare and steak? Yeah, that's how I like it. I've had rare before, and it was... It didn't taste as good, honestly. Like, it's, it's just too raw. Like, it, it almost tasted cold. Like, it wasn't cold, you know? It just wasn't cooked enough. It didn't do it for me. Man, where do I go? <laughs> Wait, you've actually done raw roasted? Ugh. Can't you get worms doing that? I wouldn't recommend that. I wonder if I need to use this cyberjack in like another dungeon. Dead end. Okay. I don't, yeah, I can't unequip here. You go extreme rare, barely touch the heat, but on non-meat burgers. I mean, that's different. I don't think the same kind of bacteria grows on, on you know, vegetarian or vegan burgers. <laughs> it's different. I would love to try them, though, honestly. Like, I've had these uh, black bean sweet potato burger patties before. They were awesome. My roommate made those a couple times. Man. I just put, like, A1 steak sauce on it and some cheese. Yeah. 
doesn't sit the same in my stomach, you know? It was really tasty. That's good stuff. Black bean sweet potato burger. That's pretty good. I recommend it. You should try it. Yeah, I think that last time I had prime rib delf was, I don't know, five years ago, at least, maybe longer. Maybe longer. We had a veggie burger that was better than any meat. That's crazy. I'd love to try that. I, I At the end of the day, I don't care what the hell it is as long as it's good, you know? And it's not like I had to, like, murder people to get it, you know? <laughs> you know, I don't want to actively harm other people to get the food. I'm just saying, like, whatever it is, if it tastes good, sign me up. I want to try it. Let's give it a whirl, you know? Man, I am really confused in this place. Or maybe this is where I need to be. Like, this is some kind of portal maze. You know. Burgers. On pepper jack cheeseburgers with onions and toasted buns. That sounds good. Faro? What's faro? I don't, I don't know that word. Only harm animals? I mean, personally, no, but yes, I eat meat. Yep, <laughs> I sure do. Everyone loves teleport mazes, especially the bronze brigands. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about, Sky. I have no idea. It's a rare grain. Ah, okay. I might have to look up a guide for this. This is very... Like, I killed the boss in this dungeon. And then it just left me here. It didn't tell me where I need to go. I think he was even in this room. The best burger I ever had was an ostrich burger. I didn't even know those existed until uh, the friend of mine that took me there told me to try it. I was like, ostrich? He said, yeah, it's like, it tastes just like beef, but lean. I was like, okay. It tasted like 99% lean beef. And it was the best burger I ever had. <laughs> it was amazing. It was very good. Where's this go? Let's see where this goes. Oh, this room again. Okay. You never tried a burger cook less than medium well? Ugh. That's just burnt. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> uh. Gross. You want to try the ostrich burger? Um... Are you in the Chicago area? Because that's where it was. I think you said you were, right, Rich? Bison makes for a good burger? It does. Yeah, I've had that too. Yes, it does. You are in the Chicago area? I think it was in Downers Grove or like Countryside or something like that. I think it was called Old Country House. It's just like really rustic looking old school building. It's a restaurant at Ostrich Burgers. Oh man. I think it was in or close to Downers Grove. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure it was called Old Country House. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure on it. <clears throat> Beefalo. Never had that. 
I would try that too. Where does this go? Computer. Yes, this is computer. Correct. We are at computer. See, this is what... There's like this water level you should clearly be able to get to, right? And it doesn't let me. Can I use the computer without the cybernetic crap going on? No? Okay. Hard to run. Never had in and out. Or five guys. But I don't really like fast food, so like whatever. room. Okay. What's down here? A door? There's a little dude. <clears throat> Mini commander. Ugh, bro, that's gross. McDonald's and Burger King. I'm not judging anyone who likes those things, but man, if I eat McDonald's, my stomach hurts. Like my body is screaming at me. It's telling me you just put something in there that you should never have done. <laughs> like it, it hurts for a while. And Burger King's is pretty flavorless. Doesn't quite give me the same stomach issue, but yeah. There we go. This isn't the trash room. The prisoners are in here. I can't let you in. Why not? Why not? All right. This looks like the right area. If I eat Taco Bell, I feel like I'm going to die. Like I get lightheaded. <laughs> Legitimately. I wonder if I can get this guy to leave. Let's try the commander badge or whatever. The leader badge. No? All right, what about being a mouse? Or vanish? Questions? No, all right. Scare him with a horn. No, doesn't care. Your real father's in here, been separated, his memory's gone? Oh, too bad. I get emotional when I hear a story like that. I'm somebody's child, too. I will take you to your father. I won't say anything in black. Well, okay. So I just had to keep talking to him? Be strong. Go for it. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I was supposed to do that. This game is very bad at conveyance. Still like it. Chad is getting hungry. Chad, are you getting hungry? Learn how to make blade one. Learn how to make blade two. What have I done? Even though I lost my memory, I'm afraid I made a terrible thing. I made a powerful new laser. They're thinking of targeting Rococo. That's true. Rococo's in danger. All right. Did you find uh, the find their restaurant, Rich? Pan pizza. 
Let me ask you something. Was it super doughy? Was it super doughy? Like half of it was dough. One damage. Okay. Why can't I run? I might have to run from the fight. I can't hurt him. <laughs> Wajos? That's definitely not it. No. We can't kill this guy. Because we'll always do the run command. I, oh, there it goes. <laughs> that was weird. There we go. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It was DiGiorno's. Oh, it was frozen pizza? Oh, never mind. I thought you meant like from an actual restaurant. <laughs> Not that store bought crap. You got my hopes up. I was like excited. You're like, yeah, I was frozen. Like, I eat that too, but I'm not going to brag about it. <laughs> like, oh, DiGiorno. <sighs> you could barely call that pan pizza. <laughs> Let's see. Do, 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 Let's see if I can find it. This might be it. There's one. Is this it? Hold on. I think I found it. Rich. One sec. Uh, do they have a web page? Maybe. This is it. Okay, it's Country House and Clarendon Hills. It's not old. It's just Country House. <laughs> yeah. Country House and Clarendon Hills. That's it. Should be it. You don't go out much and you weren't bragging and saying you're full. Right on. I understand. I understand. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie either. I eat the cheapest, crappiest store-bought pizza. <laughs> it's like three bucks, I think, each. There's stuff called Jack's Pizza. It's not great, but it'll shut the stomach up long enough to do the job, you know? Shadows this way, hurry! Okay. Uh, I'll come. Ah, oh, I got attacked by a wheel. What's up, Zion? Do, 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 do. I need a heal. That knight looking enemy kind of did a number on me. There we go. Cauliflower crust? I would try that. That sounds interesting. Totinos? I can't do Totinos. It tastes like paper to me for whatever reason. I've tried it. Trust me. I'm like, wow, this is cheap. I'll give it a shot. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. <clears throat> Little Caesars is probably like the best cheap pizza you can buy. Like $5 large pizzas for a long time. I don't even know if they still do that. It's not good, but it's better than like Domino's and Pizza Hut and all that Papa John's garbage. Tombstone's still around, yeah. I used to joke that they call it Tombstone because after you eat it, you're going to die in the toilet because it just runs through you like a freaking fireball. <laughs> 
Uh, it's mediocre. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to win any awards, but yeah. What the hell? There's invisible enemies here. He dropped an octopus on my head. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, good. I did two damage. Oh, this is a problem. These might be axe enemies. Yeah, I'll probably just run from them. Fireworks, huh? Let's go. Let's not go. We're definitely gonna have to crank our speed up for accuracy. It's Axe 3 time. This guy. Revenge. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, that only did four. What is this guy's deal? How do you hurt him? Oh, I'm confused. Whoa. -oh. <laughs> That's not good. There you go. You just gotta do a single hit. Okay. Okay. That's not so bad. Dun, 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 I think I will save. And then where the glasses? They don't have the ostrich on the menu anymore. I would blame COVID for that one. Maybe call them up and see if they do. That was the highlight, man. <laughs> that was the stuff. Ooh, treasure. Scrap nine. Ooh, I think it was one of those rare scraps I needed. Waterworks? Oh, right. Okay. That should lower the water, but I'm going to go talk to... An elk one, too? Man, I would try that. I find it amusing that roasted basically is like... Like, in the past, I had a certain job. I'm not going to say which or where in the Chicago area. I've had a lot of jobs in the Chicago area. So this way, I'm not gonna tell you where he is, but I could have walked from that job to his house in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, cause he won like a giveaway. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I know where this is. <laughs> wow. I will destroy the laser in this room. You push the waterway drain switch in the down arrow room. The path to the tower where Blackmore is there. He's counting on me. Just want to wish you all good luck. We're all counting on you. Okay, thank you. Leslie Nielsen. Appreciate it. Can I go in this one? With the cyberjack? No? Oh. False advertising. Your mailbox didn't have the right key for the parcel box. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> I don't understand. I'm going to show up randomly and ask for a roasted donut. No, when I send him the thing, I'm going to delete the, the address like I do with everyone else. Because I don't want people's address. <laughs> it's not for me. It's not necessary. Your mailbox is tiny, so there's another box. They put bigger packages in, and they put a key for that box in the mailbox. Oh, okay. That's kind of clever, I guess. Ah, oh, shit. Enemy spawned. Okay. Whap. 
clean hit to the face. Ah! I need to put the glasses on. <laughs> Let's try all hit. Nice. Axe three, pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run around your neighborhood shouting the word donut at two in the morning. You'll be the you'll be the talk of the town. Every all your neighbors will love you. <laughs> Uh, can you imagine? What a horrible thing to do that would be. <laughs> well, I need to save. Let's go. There we go. Alright. Glasses on. Should be able to... Oh, it doesn't let you see those guys. Wow. Do, 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 do. All right, well, these don't help me right now. What if I do this? Oh, wow. I actually evaded him. This is interesting. He still saw me with Vanish, but I don't... He couldn't initiate combat. Oh no, he shot me with a super soaker. Oh shoot, Wolfus Earl. Have they always been a favorite style? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I didn't wear these before. I had Oakley's in college. Those were nice for a long time. They last. I still have them. The lenses are pretty bad, though. 1,500 gold. Nice. All right, so we got rid of the water. Ah. The water is gone. We're making progress. These like random spawning enemies are a bit of a nuisance. Call the Tetron. Call the Tetron. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Come on, what is with this translation? What does it mean, call the Tetron? Come on, video game. You gotta work with me here. At least a little bit. Krispy Kreme is closed! Okay. Question. <clears throat> For any of you, who ever had a Krispy Kreme donut in the 90s? Maybe even the early 2000s, but I think the 90s. I gotta know. There's an enemy right there, and he didn't attack. Buddy, you did? Sammy, right off the belt? Did you work at one? <laughs> <laughs> you used to buy a dozen in high school, sell half, and eat the other half. <clears throat> Y'all got any of them Tetrons? Yeah, exactly, Earth Center. You did, Rich? You didn't have your first until late 2000s. Okay. I will swear by this, and I've never been able to get anyone to f to verify this or even corroborate that they had the same experience. But I had Krispy Kreme in the 90s. My aunt bought them. They were the best donuts I ever had. They had this, like, really thick, fluffy cream inside. They were good. And then I tried them again, like, years later, and the recipe was, like, completely different. I don't know what happened. Did they change the recipe or like what the? F <laughs> it 
it was the best donut I ever had. And then it was like, this is just basic as hell. Like, it's just like any other place. You think the recipe changed? Man, that's a crime. Those things were God tier. <laughs> Man, I'm so upset by that. <laughs> it was like, to this day, I've never had a donut that good. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Whoops. Yeah, it was like this like white, thick, fluffy, sweet cream in the middle. I've only ever had cream like that once, and it was at RPG Limit Break. Um, me, background guy O2, Ar Archius, and uh, Daniel RGT and Oz Fox, we went to Bruges, which was this chicken and waffles place, and they gave you this white, fluffy, sweet cream with it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I could subsist the rest of my life on that cream until it kills me of like diabetes. <laughs> That's how good it was. Uh, man. It was the best when it first came out. Yeah. Yeah. Best donuts you've had are for small neighborhood bakeries in your hometown. Oh, nice. You didn't do the filled one, Starkblade? Okay. They were just different. I don't know. I don't know. How do I get down there? How do I get down there? I need to go down there. Oh, I think I know how to go down there. Never mind. Ah, shit. This guy wants to fight. He fighting time. Boom. They kind of switched their entire business model to sell boxes, old donuts, and grocery stores. It used to be about them fresh out of the fryer. Dude, they were different, man. They were just, uh. I wonder if there's any bakeries around here, you know? So I could see if I could get fresh donuts. There we go. Get behind him, one pop, he's down. I'm not saying Krispy Kreme is bad. It's just like night and day compared to what they used to be. That's what really throws me. <laughs> Antimans? Ah, uh, they're all right. They're all right. They're not bad. They just went from really good to average and kind of bland. Right. They're like mid tier now instead of the best. Uh, Robo Track recipes. Yeah. I need to see what I can do with this scrap. <laughs> You think it's only good hot? Uh, maybe. Yo, Sammy, do they sell any of their coffee? Like bag, you know, vacuum sealed bags. Cause if you ever send me anything, I want to try that. <laughs> if they do, just throwing that out there. All right, scrap nine is for Axe three, Celtus three. Blow boots. Boots five. Ooh. Ooh. Or shield five. Oh, I could get shield five. With a scrap nine. I don't think, I think minus four. Yeah. I could get shield five. I could get the top tier shield right now. This, well, as soon as we get to an R&D, I can combine shield four with scrap nine and get shield five. Yeah, I don't know, Rosa, that's a good question. I don't know if they all do warehouse or not. You have found that cut or poke a trench in a stale regular glaze at strawberry jam microwave 12 seconds. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I like that idea. There's a standalone Krispy Kreme in Hillside off of 290. Hillside, huh? 
Oh shit. I know exactly where that is. You pass it all the time for work. Yeah, we were talking about how they used to be good and now they're like average. Like I had Krispy Kreme for the first time in the 90s. My aunt bought some and it was like the best donut I ever had. And now it's not even close to that. That's pretty cool, Delph. I would try those. All right, we gotta get into the uh, watery trenches. Damn, that guy wanted to fight. <clears throat> Well, I fought him. Boo, 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 boo. Let me see if I can get this guy. Zip. Time freak. There we go. I'm letting Zy freak know that it looks like Zapara is on break. <laughs> Oh, we need to get Zapara back. That is cool. What for? That does sound really neat. All right, we want to get down in that water, that area where there used to be water. Here we go, right here. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see where this goes. Just a dead end, so we'll glasses is use the glasses. Use the glasses. That does let us get to another area. I need to explore. Ha! Scrap five. Ooh, what do we do with scrap five? Scrap five is used to make boots for. Shield two, shield three, that's it. Okay. So we could probably just use that for whatever. Bond with Sky So Fly. Nothing happened. Feels bad. <laughs> Satch. He's farming Satch. Oh man. Oh, he's farming Satch. Thank you, Viseral. I appreciate the, the backup. It'd be my temporary Zapara replacement. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's not the controller. I don't mean the pizza for real. Okay. Yeah. Checks out. Ow. There we go. Go. Aww. Boo. It's weird. Some enemies are weak to just regular attacks. Some you have to hit them with run commands. Some only guns, bombs. Others have even weirder restrictions. Ah, shit. That guy scared me. Da, 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 da. Boop, boop. Only paper loves you? Man. Some existentialism right there. I tell you. <laughs> Why only paper? <laughs> What about the rest of it? Uh. <laughs> uh, Sky wants everyone's favorite Zapara impression or your best Zapara impression. It's tough to do. Ah, oh, these guys suck. They're easy, but I don't need to fight them. I'm a turn invisible. Now I can't see me at all. Do, 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 do. I like that the the magnifying glass still comes out. That's funny. 
All right, so that's a guy that goes bzz, bzz. I should probably save, yeah? I'm visible. I'm like double, double time visible. You ain't never gonna catch me. Yo, what's up, I watch? How are you, miss? I went to sideways walk, but false RPG suck yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Hard save. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I don't want to fight you. Okay, cool. I like that I can skip all these enemies. This is a very handy tool. Save game. My jacks medium well. Wine refresh? If not, comma, comma, don't. <laughs> uh. There you go. That one gets a clap. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's Mushroom Pumpkinhead. I don't get it. Why do the hackers care about this stone? <laughs> Aki Barra thinks it's connected to time. No matter how I check it, it's just a stone. Giving up already? Should Dr. Akihabara analyze it again? Mm, no, that's against my principles. Oh. Sure. It's too noisy. I can't use the retractive I'm in this boat. Do, 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 do. Who's there? Nobody. I'm invisible. How the hell? Oh, boy. What? Return to Tetron? Are you crazy? Ha, ha, ha. That's so ridiculous. The joke of the century. He's gathered three Tetron by himself. What? Why did you treat my cute little helper so harshly? I won't forget what you said. Rose, get back. I'll take care of this. What? Are you okay, kid? I will help you get revenge on Blackmore. What? What the fuck? <laughs> this localization is just no sense. Uh, all right, we're fighting Black Tank. Cool. Six. Okay. All right, we're gonna try a triple hit. That was epic. 278. Ow! What the fuck? Okay. This guy hurts. Black tank is blue, yeah. Why is this guy so hard? Little explosive gnomes, okay. Sure. 13, okay, I can do 13. And then beat his ass again. Oh, that does so much damage. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I wonder if the lightning sword would have been better here. Supara was the only thing I, I was thinking about the money and my own. Parenthesis. Okay. Whatever. I'm doing it anyway. Hit him. New England, not bad, but slams. Five dollars. Hmm. It's an interesting proposition. I'll have to consider that one carefully. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, what the hell? What if I just go like this? 93. And then he does that. I'm like, yeah, okay. We definitely need to triple hit his ass. You heard me. You heard me. I said what I said. Just get right up in there. Right up in there. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the follows tonight, everybody. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Follows will always be anonymous for the lurker love. 
This is actually the hardest boss fight I think we've done. Even with max guard. Those missiles are comically large. They really are, aren't they? Channel, are you still there? Got him. All right, cool. Boop, boop. Do -do 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 -do. You can now use portable. Okay, great. Super. All right, we've maxed power and guard. Now we work on speed. We need more accuracy and evasion. I think. I think we should get energy. Let's max that out, too. What's up, Magnumer? How are you today? I don't think Channel's here anymore. He gave a tier 3 sub earlier. And I realized that it put us at another wheel spin. We haven't gotten around to that yet. That was a couple hours ago, though. All right, well, Blackmore just poofed. This game's aesthetic is fantastic. I really like it, too, honestly. I, I mean, the, 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 the translation and the story in this game, they don't make any sense. They really don't. <laughs> but... I like the aesthetic, I like the gameplay, I like the craft system, I like the customization of the robots and the macros you can do for combat attacks. If you do the right ones, they do like special attacks. I think that's all really cool. I like all of that. Oh, my vanish disappeared. Oh no. Hey, too noisy, I can't use the transceiver. Brighton, how have you been, man? How have you been, Brian? Thank you for rating my channel. Thank you for thinking of me in this community. When ending your own stream. How was your stream? RE7. Ooh. Dude, how has it already been 10 months? <laughs> Feels like you got here a couple weeks ago. What the hell? <laughs> 10 months. Nearly a year. It feels like you got here a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Oh my god, where is the time going? Help. <laughs> oh, what the frick? <laughs> uh, darkens to the gifting? No, in my uh, list it said channel gifted a tier 3 sub to Domadness. That was the last sub on my list. <laughs> that was two hours ago. You finished RE7 main story and did some of the band footage DLC. Oh. Dude, one of the DLCs in DL, uh, RE7 I did on stream. This community absolutely loved it. It was ridiculous. I know Sky So Fly particularly really liked it. <laughs> it's so good. Which one was it? I don't know, but we just we just called it like Murka, you know? Like <laughs> You basically are like, you're one of the the family's uncle who comes to visit and his solution to the entire scenario is to just punch it to death. Literally, you just punch everything to death. It's fucking incredible. And he's the most like redneck, like Cajun backwater, good hearted dude. Who just is his solution? You don't understand it? Oh, I'm just gonna punch the shit out of this thing. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, and it's oh yeah, that was it. It was awesome. <laughs> We're gonna punch you for Merc. <laughs> it was like my favorite part of the whole game. <laughs> it was completely ridiculous. I recommend you play it. <laughs> Just make sure you do it after you've done all the other, like, you know, beat the game, done all the DLCs and stuff. The Chris one was cool. I like that one. All the DLC in that game was pretty cool, to be honest. Um, but that one, End of Zoe, oh, man. 
That was just next level. <laughs> Mark, fuck yeah. Yeah, that's basically the character. You don't need guns. You just punch it. <laughs> oh, man. Go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's fight this guy. Then we're going to do a wheel spin after this fight. But yeah, anyone that just came over from Brighton's channel, uh, it's good to have you. I hope you had a good time there. I'm Phenomenon. We play a lot of retro games here. We play D&D, uh, &D, RPGs. We're finishing up a Zelda marathon this weekend, most likely. So a lot of good things in the works. I hope you uh, kick back, relax, and enjoy yourself. All right. Get up close. Nice. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, I'm confused now. Yeah, RE7 visceral is the right word for it. What are you playing next week, Taco? What are you playing next week? Diablo? Oh, nice. I really enjoy Diablo. Bam! Got him. All right. Yeah, Zipara or Zyfreak made a, a text generation bot based on AI that only uses words that it's read in this chat. And uh, it's getting eerily more and more interesting every stream. <laughs> because it's like picking up on channel memes and stuff. And it's getting weird. <laughs> it's getting weird. Ella. How do I say that name? L. L. Elif. 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 The. I. L the axe? L the axe? Like, just maybe that's it. Ellie is fine. Okay. Where's the AI text thing? Uh, he said he'll check it before he goes to work. I sent him a message and he responded. Oh, wow. What the fuck? He dropped a sumo on my head. What is this enemy? Uh, a foot? <laughs> what is going on with the enemies in this game? <laughs> he just dropped a giant foot on my head. And it was hairy. <laughs> oh, no. This game's out of control. All right. I wish I had my vanish. I guess we're fighting these. All right. She built a V2 model. Stream layouts, opening any streams. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I am poisoned. I need to do that. Deal with that. Do, 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 do. Ha! See if we can do this. Go down. Go! <laughs> nice. All right, cool. Uh. I've been like every week or two updating a Twitter thread with my favorite phrases from Zipara. So that's just another reason to follow my Twitter. <laughs> oh man. You wanna see some of that. 
Some of the stuff has been pretty wild. It's been pretty wild. Let's see. What was the last one? What did it have? I can show you. There we go. Yeah, this is it. There you go. This is a good one. Let me show you. Zapara dislikes the U.S. cellular field effect on Twitch. Not a fan of the White Sox, apparently. <laughs> uh, he says, nope, I don't need various flavors, Kappa. I am Le Pouf, 55 or bus. And then he says, give money, mods. So you heard a moderator. Zapara says you got to give money. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> Are you for real right now? <laughs> They're like, all right. Yo, I watch. Thanks for the one bit. Thor, don't forget we have our own animated okay, bit emojis like now. Cool. We have our own animated bit emojis. You should check them out. Thank you for 101 bits, Thor. You voted for Psychonauts. Nice. Am shame. You've given more bits than I have badges. It's true. I haven't set the last one yet. I think I need to get like a new idea or something for them. Like some kind of new evolution of the current ones. Yo, thanks. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's the bit badge and it's spinning in 3D. I think it looks badass. Thundercoy did it. Number 025. <laughs> Thanks for 69 bits. Radiata stories getting some love. Rose, how could you betray oh, me this way? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, forgive me, Mr. Streamer number 004. <laughs> uh, Allie, thanks for hanging out. Make sure you let us know in Discord when you stream so we can check out your uh, stuff. Weep. Weep. It's just Magnumer. You forgot to vote Magnumer. That's all right. Thank you for 11 bits. If you were a chicken, you'd be impeccable. Bits for bot overlord number 012. <laughs> Thank you for 69 bits. The laser remote is targeted on Quintinix. If I push this game over. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up, Crystal? How are you? I'm the garbage man, and I'm here to take you out. Beep boop bits number 120. Beep boop bits. Thanks, buddy Cthulhu. You voted for Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Sky still voting for Conquer. Nice, nice. If it ever changes numbers, no, they should never change number. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I'm spinning. Okay. I'm spinning. I'm spinning the other way now. Interesting. Explosions! We are playing Robo Trek, a little known. Just looking at this cool purple bit emote number 012. A little known JRPG on the Super Nintendo. It's a really cool game with a terrible translation. It's still a lot of fun. Thank you, Loki, for 100 bits. And you voted for Conker's Bad Fur Day. Right on. You watch me play through Femoral Fantasia, you watch me play through anything? Ah, you, you powered through, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> you really did. You, you just powered through it. All right, Brighton, man. Thanks again. Take care, dude. Thanks for the raid. Doo -doo -doo. 
It's your first time here, Rebecca MC. I like your emote, by the way. That's really cute. Welcome on in. How did you find us? Do do. Super cult classic. It is, yeah. It's it's one of those. I think the reason most people didn't know about this, unless you had Nintendo Power, was Enix was closing their doors in the United States. They were just backing out of North America entirely. So this didn't get any marketing. And a very, very cheaply done localization. You know, budget cuts like crazy. So the only reason I knew this exists is because Nintendo Power was like, yo, this game is sick. <laughs> All right, yeah, hook me up. So I asked for this for like a birthday or Christmas and one of my family members got it for me. You love RPGs, so this seems like a good place for you. Oh, right on, right on. Yeah, we definitely play a lot of RPGs here. We do a lot of retro games, we do RPGs. Uh, we do D&D every couple months and then I'll be finishing up a Zelda marathon uh, this upcoming weekend here. Do, 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 do. I do not own that game, Magnumer. It would take a lot to get me to play Lunar Dragon Song. And I will say it right now, 1,400 subs, because that'll be another emote slot. <laughs> so, you know, we're only 977 away. <laughs> you know, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, we get there. We get to 1,400. Yeah, sure, I'll play Dragon Song. I'll buy it off eBay on stream, and, and then we'll play it <laughs> someday. I still have a bunch of other sub incentives I gotta do, but yeah. I, I gotta I gotta just like shoot it to the moon for such a terrible game, you know what I'm saying? A love letter. Poland, you are the sunshine of my life. I wanna see you always, your secret admirer. That game made a mockery of the Lunar series. It did. It really did. Yep. You only knew about this game through Nintendo Power Magazine. Gave it a 4.5 out of 5. Yeah, they were, they liked it. They raved it. And just, and you know, as kids, like when I was young, I didn't really understand why translation was bad. I thought I wasn't smart enough to understand it. I'm going to get medicine, be right back. Okay. Tool shop opening soon. Confirm the origin of fire. Yep. What was that supposed to say? I can't remember. <laughs> Confirm the origin of fire. <sighs> Lunar Dragon Song's the one where anytime you run, you lose hit points, right? Would you loan me some? Sure. Oh, really? I'm moved by people's kindness. Thank you. There you go, dude. Come to the shop, I'll treat you right. All right, I'm here, treat me right. You don't know this game I'm playing? It's a very obscure JRPG. He reminds you of Chrono Trigger? Yeah, he's kind of got a little bit of a Chrono vibe here with his hairstyle. Ooh, okay. I could buy Scrap 2 from this guy. Interesting. Scrap 2, a rare one, I don't know. I already have one Scrap 2. Let's see what we can make with a Scrap 2. Scrap a tool. Mm, shot three. Some lasers. Lasers? Ooh. If I could get blade three, that's sword three, laser three. Sword three, laser three. To get blade laser three, I need scrap two, scrap seven. Hmm. We could get Blade 4, which is a pretty crazy weapon. Do, 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 do. You used to love Nintendo Power Magazine for games you should be playing section? It was a good magazine, yeah. Check the stove. Oh, right, 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 right. That's right. That's what that meant. Do, 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 do. Boom. 
What kind of uh What kind of stuff do you stream, Rebecca? Since I see you have sub emotes. <clears throat> Vomit do win particularly difficult to do first. I'd say that's the easiest one. Dark Blade. If you mean just like through the casual play of the game, not the refights. But even with the refight, that was the easiest one that I've done. I might get it, Krizzle. I gotta see if I need to scrap seven for anything else first. Yeah, this game does have a problem of conveyance and not really teaching you what the heck you need to do at any given point. <clears throat> scrap seven was needed to make sword four. Okay. It will be needed to make laser three. Um, dun, 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 sword three, I have a couple methods. Hmm, I only need scrap nine, which I have, okay. Scrap nine, I would need for boots five. Or shield five. Boots five, shield five. Tough. This one's tough then. I kind of like the sword four. I think I, that'll be fine. Sword four and axe three will be fine. I don't necessarily need blade four. I think I'm going to save scrap nine for shield five for the defense. The added defense and block. Conveyance, what's that? Very funny. He's hiding from Top Barry. You know, RPGs, action, adventure games mostly, but you play other types of games like shooters, racing, or fighting games. So, Legend Mano recently released. Yeah, I got a uh, HD remaster. I actually streamed the PS1 copy of that uh, earlier this year? That was early this year or last year? I think it was early last year. But Cyril would know if he's still here. He's the one that gave it to me. I think it was the beginning of 2020 is when I streamed that. Time was just kind of boosted by. When I played Legend of Mana with Cyril, because you're the one that gave it to me. Like I told you, as soon as I got it, I'd stream it, and I did. <laughs> like I basically did. You're loving the remaster on Steam? That's really good to hear. I know how much of a uh, how big of a fan you are of the game. All right, so he sells extra scrap two. Let's see how many scrap twos we're gonna want. We'll need it for laser one, and that's it. Really, that's it. So we don't need to buy any scrap two right now. That I can. Tell. You play the mana games? Oh, I really enjoy them. My mom's instead, you should leave. Carl is not behaving well, so she's making him study. You're playing in a no future mode. Remind me again what that is. I know somebody told me what that was. Your minor complaint is one of the reorchestrated music tracks. No future mode is the highest difficulty. Oh, uh, okay. The sword is not necessary for those beasts. The sword isn't even necessary to beat the game. The master sword is legitimately optional for the game itself. I'm the one who saved Poland. He found me bound by the river. Took you to her house and took care of you. And she went to get the medicine from the cave. That's where the theft ring is, I hear. When you're better, you can go there. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... Is 
The other day he followed a suspicious man, but he disappeared on the way to the cave. Moving to a new town is like sleeping on a new mattress. Kind of exciting. I can see it. Let's talk to the cat with our animal relay. You speak cat? Meow. I'm surprised. If my master spoke cat. I could ask for food. I wish I could speak cat. I want to know what Mog and Lickety are thinking. <laughs> uh. Coker's house. What a name. Wow. Yeah, is this Coker? This is Coker's house. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. The poor kid. Somebody named him Coker. Could have been Cocker, but there's supposed to be a C there, right? An unknown theft ring has been here. Lock your doors when you go out. I saw a huge light fall down by the river. Okay. Oh, I unequipped it. I want to talk to the animals. Oh, this one's following me. Okay. Let's just do this. Coker, really? My name's Coker. It's got to be scary in a cat's head. I really got to know. A master is usually a strong-willed tomboy, but sometimes she's gentle. Okay. Well, this kid's just crying. Strange-looking guy took my candy and my pocket change. Let's see if we see any strange-looking guys around town. I have not played Suikoden yet. No. Um, what I do is I have this pre-curated list of games, mostly RPGs, but a bunch of retro games on there too. And when people give bits or tips, they can put the ID number of that game that they want on that list. And whenever the current game is beaten, the one at the top of that list gets played next. So that's how this game was chosen. And I got a lot of support too. So Suikoden is one of those games that's on that list. So I haven't played it yet, but I would like to someday. I just know getting my hands on a copy of Suikoden 2, woo. Boy, that one's in like the 200s now. It's expensive. Your family heirlooms. Okay. He's got family heirlooms, apparently. There's something glowing on his desk, even. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Do, 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 do. Oh, I really enjoy trying so we get in someday for sure. She wishes father's jewels were gone. I could probably steal it if I was invisible. <laughs> if I had to guess. Do I want to? Nah. Build a house for the mayor, the town will really move forward. Would you like to donate to build a new town? Sure. The minimum is 10 gold. How much will you give? The maximum. What? Thousand gold. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. Wait, what is this? Is this like, hold on. How much do they want? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, the Master Sword needs a nap sometimes? Yeah. I use it, like, all the time. <laughs> like, I just, oh, like, nonstop for the most part. Oh, okay. More. I'm going to give more money. 
You can't go in. This is Mayor's lot. There's just a building there. You're just some dumb kid. Hello, that's an animal. Okay. I want to play. Woof. Okay. Woof. Yep, I'm going to donate more. Let's see what happens. I think you give a certain amount and they put you in that photo album <laughs> in the mayor's office. Literally, if you if you haven't figured it out yet, we're in the past. This game has time travel. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So, yeah. All right, we'll do one more. I think that's enough. That's enough. Do, 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 do. Look, we made a doggo friend. Isn't that great? Who doesn't like doggo friends? Oh, that looks like you're supposed to go that way. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. This kid's just standing there crying. Strange looking guy took his candy and pocket change. Oh, let's check behind each house. Maybe we'll find a hidden NPC. Sometimes there's, you know, they do that. These RPGs. Yo, what's up, X2? Sounds like a song from Chrono Trigger. Marl's theme. Kind of sounds like Marl's theme. Or Chrono's. I don't know. One of their themes. I think it's Marl's theme. Nope, nobody behind these buildings. And I don't see any NPCs hiding out anywhere. We could put these back on. Give the town a quick sweep. See if we see anyone invisible or anything like that. I wonder why that dog was hiding in this corner. Is there something there? I'm not finding anything, so... Alright. Do, 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 do. Bow wow. Now I have two dogs. <laughs> All right. This is great. I got a posse of dogs now. Do, do. I've gone to get medicine. All right, there's nobody here. Let's go. Can you pet the dogs? Unfortunately, not really, no. You can just talk to them and they go bow wow, or they actually talk because you have the animal relay. Forest. I like the world map music. <laughs> Literally unplay. <laughs> Can't pet the dogs, worst game I've ever seen. Alright, alright. Sorry. An unknown theft ring has been active. Quick bird and gel gel. Got him. Got him. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we're looking for unknown thefteries. With our specs, our infrared spectacles. I should re equip Sword 4, I think. Let's re equip Sword 4. Sword 4 is a lot of fun, it's not as strong, technically, but you'll see. Seed. I have two seeds now. Which means I can use one for Blade 4. That's going to save us some trouble. Scrap 10! Woo! Woo! I don't think we've ever had that. Dun, 
Scrap 10 with a weather machine makes bomb three. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, boot six. Yep. We're going to make boot six with scrap 10. 100%. 100%. That's what we're going to do with that. It's even more valuable than in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Alright, I don't think using infrared here helped. Poison, what a name. You think Fallout 4 is a quest to make scrap valuable? Scrap is used for everything in Fallout 4 with the settlement system. So it's like extremely valuable. I really liked the settlement system in that game. I did the hell out of that. I did tons of streams of Fallout 4 way back in the day of just settlement building because I was recovering from surgery. <laughs> Uh. Alright, let's go here to the river. Da -da 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 -da. Such a zany game. It's just the right word. Oh, geez, for it. Wow, that works really well on them. Holy smokes. That was mad damage. Same, rabid vampy. I started Fallout 4 on stream. This was back when I just did, or this channel really had no focus. It was just play what was fun. Um, you know, I wasn't really trying to grow so much as just enjoy the hobby, which is fine, you know? That's what it is for a lot of people. Anyway. I decided to stream Fallout 4 because someone that I watched all the time at the time was playing it. And I'm like, this looks like a fun stream. It was Trevelyan was streaming it back then. Um, I was like, this could be fun to stream. But I knew the story wasn't very good in Fallout 4. So what I did was I made my own. So I was like, Sean, I have to rescue Sean. I don't know who that is. Who the hell is Sean? So I made my own goal. My goal was to build a radio studio in a settlement and collect as many teddy bears as possible. <laughs> that was it. That was my goal. And we did that. <laughs> we did that. Uh, it was fun. That was it. Yo, Solo Meme, how you doing? In fact, I still have a video here of the radio studio that I built. Let me show you. Check this out. That's it. Right there. <laughs> That's the radio studio I made in Fallout 4. That was a good time. <laughs> uh, had like acoustic panels on the walls and like music posters and machinery and microphones. I think it's actually like a 55 special sure microphone sitting there. Do, do, do. The gunplay was improved. I really just like the settlement system. Like, it didn't feel like a Fallout game. It, My opinion of 4 was always Fallout 4 is a great game, but it's not a good Fallout game. That's it. Is this game like a robot Pokemon? It's not. No. Um, you actually create the robots and fully customize them. You don't catch them. So, uh, with that respect, I don't know what you would compare it to. You even create your own, you know, craft recipes and whatnot. So it's it's different. It's definitely different, but I really like it. I'm having a good time with it. All right. Um, I need to find an actual R&D lab in order to make the items I want to make. Otherwise, I have to unequip stuff. And I'm not going to be doing that. <clears throat> so... This is not like any other game you've seen before. Yes, this is a quite a unique experience as far as JRPGs go. 
teddies where? Uh, they were in a separate room, Dark Blade. I had a room with shelves just full of teddy bears. I never did any of the DLC in Fallout 3 except for Broken Steel. That was the only one I had on the 360. Boom, 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 boom. They were like blocky Build-A-Bears. Yeah, that was still fun. Yeah, this one isn't really... No, it's not really dark, this one. It's pretty campy and lighthearted. I mean, there's some serious themes in it, but it's just like as a vehicle for the story and not really trying to target your emotions, you know? Yeah, I used that Magnumer. That was out back then. That was out four years ago or five years ago or whatever it was. I used it. All right, so we got a level. More hit points for you. What were we doing here? I think we were doing the same. So heal them up. You learned about it recently? Yeah. When I was playing it, they had just released the Industrial Zone part of it. It was like four or five years ago. A game with Wally and Keyboard isn't Grimdark? Well, we named them that. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> uh, in fact, the community named them that, like every game I play. Whenever we get to name a character, I let the community do a raffle. And the winner can pick. But yes, Qbert and Wally are the heroes of our tale. <laughs> oh, treasure. I'm gonna get the treasure. Damn. That is crazy. Forty-nine Did you know I've been months. For seven months, seven times over now. Cheeky smiley face. Cheeky smiley face. <laughs> oh man. Cheeky smiley face. Yo, Ron, what's up, man? It's good to see you. I saw you in uh, that was uh, Mel's channel, right? When I was in Mel's stream, I was still waking up, so. Everything's hazy. <laughs> Cheeky smiley face. I mean, it does fit the personality I watch. It's true. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Over 40 years of subbing. That's crazy. You get a whole heck of Rooney. A lot of emotes for that. You can't sleep. Oh, dude, this is the witching hour, I call it. My brain wakes up at midnight. That's when you can't get me to shut up. <laughs> this is, I'll, I'll be up until s between six and eight in the morning. It's just, just how I operate, man. I was previously streaming, like I would start at seven central and then go to like two or three. And I noticed like for the first couple hours, I was just dragging ass. Struggling to think of things to say. I'm like, you know what? I just kind of need to listen to the body there. Move the schedule up two hours. It's worked a lot better in every single way. Get a little pop. Get a little pop there. <laughs> All right. What the heck are we doing in this place? Is that making weird noises in my right ear? Yeah, West Burps. Riches, RPG Spaz, he lived there four years ago. Roasted Donut is. You're in Great Lakes, Flare. You were in Rockford? I, got, I had a buddy that, I think he's still out there. He used to be there. Buddies in Northwest Burbs. Man, there's a lot of them. <laughs> that's a lot of them. <laughs> that's wild. 
Easiest way to find out Chicago people mention the airport? Yeah. Honestly. Yo, Lonnie, what's up? You got a sub? Yay! You got all the cutest bears on Twitch now. Sammy listens to Chicago. Very funny. <laughs> He's like, I, I like the band. Uh, it was my understanding the band Chicago wasn't from Chicago. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I heard. I don't know if that's right. You saw a thing the other day where someone insisted they were leaving Rockford because they got chased by a pit bull with a Newport in its mouth. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, girlfriend starts cursing about the Dan Ray. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh man! I promise you, I never use the I ninety unless I was required to, because it's like the worst interstate in the city. <laughs> it is the worst one. All right, Rebecca. It was nice. Uh, nice to meet you. We shall check you out sometime. I can click your uh, sub emote there and hit that follow. There we go. Right on. Right on. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I don't like I-90. I mean, the last job I worked, I just take the 290 straight to it. Because it was like, the exit was like two blocks away from where I worked. So it was really easy. Dun. Or as we call it in Chicago, the Strangler. It's like a four lane. Get this, all right? And this is probably crazy to anyone who's ever driven on a highway, freeway, parkway, interstate, whatever you want to call it, right? Usually they're a set amount of lanes, right? Based on the flow of traffic. The 290 that goes east into Chicago is four lanes. Until you hit Oak Park and it crushes down to three lanes and traffic always screeches to a halt right there and everyone calls it the strangler <laughs> and then after you get through that area it goes back to four it sucks <laughs> it really sucks like, what the fuck why i guess because oak park didn't want that interstate to go through their town like whenever it was made i think in world war it was world war one or two so they made a deal with the city to allow it, but only to be so wide so as to not cut through too much of the, the town. But it fucks millions of people every day. <laughs> For decades. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> For literal decades. Like, man. And stays at three until it's split. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, going westbound, it's not as bad, you know? More people are trying to leave Chicago than get into it, I promise you. <laughs> you change trains four times and walk over two miles combined across the journey with your luggage. Yeah, if you're yeah, if you're you're doing public transport, yeah, that sounds right. Dun, dun. Uh you yes, hello? Hmm. What is this? An eavesdropper. Now for some fun. I'm a theft ring member. Okay. I like how we announced that. Westbound is leaving. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's less people using it. Unless you're, you know, um, big fan. What the fuck? Unless you're just getting off work. And then it sucks just as much. <laughs> Bump, bump. This game's overworld gives you Zelda vibes. I've had, yeah, I've seen others say that it reminds them of uh, Super Mario World. I usually didn't have too many problems going westbound though, Roasted. Even during rush hour. It really wasn't bad. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I would just take 290 westbound a lot of the time. I mean, there are ways around it if 
you really wanted to. <laughs> Hello, lady. Are you better now? You were so sick. You won't need this. Uh, I'm sorry, you were asleep. I didn't know. I'm Poland. You fell by the river. I found you and took you to my house. You were badly injured. Let's go to my house. Okay. Sure. Cool. <laughs> Bo, 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 bo. I think it probably wasn't as bad for me roasted because I didn't have to go too far. Like, I'm not going to say where I got off 290, but it wasn't very far. <laughs> like, really. I can say right now that on a good day, I could get to work in less than 20 minutes if there was no traffic that job that I used to work that I don't anymore but that was like five in the morning you just go 80 85 the whole time and see like four cars <sighs> she's gonna make chicken soup that sounds really delightful what was that text I just saw text appear but I was looking at chat and then it went away Do, 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 do. Used to travel for work? Oh, man. You need to roll out of bed, take a shower, hit start streaming, and go to work. Well, yeah. Though I try to. Ooh, adventure friends. Bomb three. I try to get up four to five hours before I have to stream. Shot three. Well, we're getting a lot of recipes here. So that uh, I'm alert, have had time to get food, do creative things before stream, etc. What's this? He looks just like you. Two of you. Uh, uh. Stop. I have to cover it up. What? What a fever. I'll get medicine from my neighbor's house. Okay. I get on at 9 central, Ron. I'm, if anything, I am nothing but consistent with my schedule. Like, I think punctuality is super important. I like that everyone that likes this channel knows, oh, it's 9 central, he's live. Like, you could set a clock to it. I just, I don't know, it, just, it makes life easier for me when I have routines. <clears throat> so I usually start at 9 central and then I go till 3 to 5 a.m. So I stream six to eight hours each night. No good. I can't give you this. Okay. You like mice? He says the same thing. Okay. He doesn't care that I'm a mouse. Do, do, do. Nine central, Thursday through Monday, like clockwork. Right on. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Look, if you examine the fire, he does this like little dance. Weird. Who's this guy? Ew, you're the freeloader of Poland's house. Who are you anyway? You bother Poland, you'll be sorry. Well, something will happen to you. Okay. Uh, I just thought I'd bring some flowers for Poland. You get out. What in the fuck, man? What's with the incels in this town? <laughs> God. Uh, there's a woman asking for you. What? The woman? She went into the tool shop. You get around. Wow. What are you trying to say, kid? Man. I get around, apparently. Hello. Rask? It's Cookie. Hello, Cookie. I can't talk here, okay? Out in the Forest of Illusion, I hit our spaceship. I'm going to the ship. I'll tell Gato. Let's talk about it, okay? Forest of Illusion is waiting. Interesting. Interesting. You should make such a cute woman worry, but looking at him, he seems henpecked. What? This translation is so weird. It's so weird. I feel like it was too done too literally and like things that may have been like 
visual emotes or expressions or things like that are just being written out like the person is saying them. It's very odd. Pine o'clock. Don't be silly. Who could be here besides you? I don't know, really. Please believe me. What? Oh, his jewels are gone. She stole my jewelry. I went out and when I came back, the jewelry was gone and she was there. Get out. Never show your face in this neighborhood again. Wow, poor lady. No one else was here? Are you sure? All right, I don't see anyone with the x-ray vision. Okay. I see something suspicious here. Like this? Wait, can I drill a hole in this wall? Darn. <laughs> it looks like there's something there. Maybe mouse time? No. Okay. You've come looking for my jewelry again. Yeah. He's chasing a mouse. What is this guy's deal? Woo. This guy's damaged. Oh, now the kid's chasing the mouse. Do, 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 do. Code Vein Plat is even worse than Souls? Wow. Where are your seeds? I have seeds for you. Here. You want to plant lots of flowers around town? Sure, you can have them. Cool, all right. You are from the theft ring, right? No, Steve wouldn't look so goofy. Oh my god. People are just so rude in this game. You got weird looks gooching down the steps outside halfway on your butt while holding on to the back bar of your empty chair to keep you from careening to the sidewalk. Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that sucks. I, I missed the first message. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought you were talking about like a computer chair. No, you're talking about a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Wow, having to do that just to get around. Hopefully it's easier for you to get around now. Carl is not behaving. Coral, why aren't you behaving, Coral? Where's Paul one? She must have gone to the other neighbor. Coral! This neighbor. Do -do. There she is. Okay. My aunt is good at making medicine. I can't do it. You two are different people. I still can't believe it. Okay. Okay. All right, nothing to see here. You. He, the suspicious, suspicious man disappeared on the way to the cave. Hmm. Interesting. Coker's house. No one else was in Pop's house that day. Maybe it was an animal, like a cat. Let's talk to the cat. Was it you? The mouse did it? There's a mouse hole between the drawers. The mice come out when no one's there. Okay. Let's catch the mouse. Between the drawers. What drawers? She doesn't even have drawers. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about, cat? Uh, this cat is confusing me. Maybe it's in the house itself. That's probably it. That's probably it. 
do 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 I like that the mouse can ring the doorbell. Like this? This. Found it. Dun, dun, dun. All right, where does this go? To a dead end, okay. I wanna know why there's metal ducts in this house that seemingly don't go, don't go anywhere. Pop's house. Wow, 3,000 gold. Scrap nine. Oh man. Okay, this room is epic. <laughs> we are getting loot. Wow. Dun, 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 At least it wasn't snowy, windy, but Chicago. Yeah. I found smell who. Bump, bump. All right, let's give the guy his jewel back. The big jerk. There it is. Where were they? What? The mouse did it. I wonder. I wronged Coker. I must apologize to her. Yes, you must apologize to Coker. I want to be friends with the boy at her house. Now we'll become friends. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, this was the two families that wouldn't talk to each other. I think I literally just undid that Romeo and Juliet nonsense going on. Okay. We're literally fixing the problems of the town in the past right now. This is kind of neat. It's one of the reasons I like Chrono Trigger so much. You could actually like vis visibly and gameplay wise see the effects of your actions in the future. We're going to be neighbors. We can't start off getting off the wrong foot. And it was all thanks to the kitty cat who told us the truth. The girl next door wants to be my friend. I'm bashful. Okay. She called Coker because of her drug of choice. Maybe. Maybe. You don't know. Whoa. Uh, not me. I think I did this wrong. Oh, I was supposed to donate and then come and go. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. I just burned a lot of money on this. <laughs> All right. I'm going to test this. I would like to save. Hold on. I'm going to test this. I'm going to leave town and come back and see if the house is any better. Rummy and Coker can form a club, huh? All right. Would you like to donate? Yes. Again. All right. Now let's exit. Or actually, let's just go in a house. This might work. Do, 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 do. That didn't work. It didn't work. Maybe this isn't how you do it. Do, do, do. All right. We gave money. Left town. Coming back. Is the house better? Bigger? No. Okay. I'm not giving him any more. <laughs> that guy's greedy. Our inventory is almost full. We need to be able to craft. They said that on the way to the cave, somebody disappeared, right? Is there a secret entrance somewhere I don't know about? If you know, I would like a hint. That is so much damage. This sword is ridiculous. 
Wow, free shield three. That's kind of neat. Aw, oh, dang. I know things probably look a little weird with it all red. Ah. 2D DQ 11? Oh man, Sammy. Didn't you just beat that? The encounter rate in 2D DQ 11 is pretty nasty. So just keep that in mind. If that's what you decide to do. All oh, these birds are just out of control. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Dropping shields, that's odd. This almost looks like a good spot to hide something. No? Okay. No? Okay. But you got platinum on DQ11. Not surprising. Dun, 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 dun. Dude. I've always been intrigued in the whole like achievement hunting thing, but not enough to try it. I think the grind is probably what turns me off the idea. But they said a guy disappeared on the way to this cave. Yeah, the Pixel Remix. Is everyone for the Fiesta? I thought BGG said they weren't waiting for the Fiesta to play those. Maybe I misread that. Do 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 Counter rates in this game. Too much. Like, you can avoid most enemies, but there's still too many. Oh, wow. These are duplicating. All right. I guess we better just kill them. You never played two, three, or five. I have not really played two or three either. Not really. Five I did on PS1 when it came out. Five is a game I need to play again someday. Final Fantasy V is awesome. I need to play them all, to be honest. I am not finding this hidden cave anywhere. Occupational surname refinery unit, unprocessed petroleum. I don't th think she's an oil rig worker or works in a refinery, but I can't say for sure because this game is out there. <laughs> uh. Oh man. Yeah, it's like impossible to run from these things. Do, 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 do. Gonna need more cleans soon. I have too many. What do you call them? 
Ugh. Too many repairs. I haven't needed to use any yet, I don't think. Alright. I feel like there's a secret somewhere there, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna ignore it. Forest of Illusion. Clellan. Uh, what's up? It has been a while, hasn't it? How have you been? Dude, you haven't been here in like, what, half a year or so? <laughs> Alright, let's line these up. Oh boy. Enemies underground. Wow, there's a lot of them. Okay. You're getting back on track. Right on. It's good to hear. Stay away! There's maybe spiders, we think. Odd looking spiders, let me tell you. <laughs> if people eyes. Uh, odd looking spiders with people eyes. Ugh. This game. F of illusion. We're in the F of illusion. Yo, thank you for using Prime Gaming. Right on, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for your support, Prime Gaming sub. 10 months of sub, and you have a shit ton of emotes now. You have 26 tier 1 emotes, 5 tier 1 animated emotes, and an ad free experience. Right on. Dun, 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 dun. There is a problem. There's nothing here, but it's still strange. If you walk like this, something is here. A big place like this would be a good place to build, but I have to give up. Oh boy, there's a hidden spaceship. Yep. Do not have seven, eight, or nine on Steam. Right, because you play on PC or Switch or PS4, right? Yo, what's up, Zy Freak? Oh, there's the Markov command. iWatch was talking about that earlier. <laughs> Zapara's back. <laughs> I have it. Too broad daylight will be able to get a grandma? Nine even worse than ever since that you are. Are you? Don't for the beginning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Why did you leave Chonko? What happened to you in Tetron? You're wrong, Cookie. This isn't Rast. The genes are similar, but it's a different person. Thanks for the uh, congrats, McLellan. Have you had any time to play any games lately? What? But the people of this planet can't find this ship. Culture level is different. Yeah, it's true. I don't understand. Well, who are you? I don't, I don't know. 
dude bro. Rask built me, so I know him well. You're not Rask, but your personality is like his. Watching for a while, but can only do it on your TV. Finally got your laptop fixed after it got hacked, so now you can communicate again. Oh, cool. Dude, if my computer got hacked, delete the whole hard drive. Just fucking gone. <laughs> Just nuked it. Just completely nuke it. You've been mostly playing PS4? Oh, okay, cool. Are you trying to deceive me? Uh, I guess. What do they want me to do here? I don't know. Wait a second. Haven't you seen your devil? What, in the town? Really? Cookie, wait. Let him show us whether it's true or not. Then check with Napoleon. Hey, then I... You and I can't tell, but he's very suspicious. We'll have to watch him. I see. I want you to return where Rask and the robot are. I won't abuse your trust, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, same time, Freak. It's just, you just clean it up. It sucks, but you do it. Yo, Phoenix, how are you? I haven't been able to stop in your streams lately. How the heck are you? Do, do, do. Speaking of growing streamers, <laughs> the topic of the night, your favorite growing streamers. There's one right there, Phoenix Pearl. She's got a good comfy place to be. <clears throat> Look at that bird, it's blushing. It's sweating. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> do, 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 you couldn't find your Windows 10 key. Oh man. I buy mine from uh, key sellers that have that are reputable. So my two machines run Windows 10 64-bit professional, and I think each Windows key was forty dollars. Maybe 45. So yeah. As soon as you receive, you nuke your laptop. Right on. There you go. <clears throat> I don't want to be found out, so I hide my form. I'll follow you. I'm warning you. Take me to Rask right away. Remember that. Oh, okay. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Oh, here we go. R&D lab. This is what I needed. Let's make some some goodies. Let's make some goodies. I want to make a shield five. A shield five is shield four plus scrap nine. So we got a scrap nine. We actually have two. We're gonna combine it with shield four to make shield five. The best shield in the game. Shield five. There you go. There's a big old thing right there. And then we want boot six. There's two ways to make that. What boots do you have? Your boots four, okay. To make boots six, we can combine scrap three with scrap 10 or boots five with scrap 10. All right, we're gonna do scrap three with 10. We have two scrap threes, so this is good. Boot six. Doo, doo, 
you never seen this game before, but three seconds you've seen it looks great. Yeah, I love the craft system in this game. You make your robots, you completely customize their stats and their macros that they use for attacks. It's really cool. I can show you just a little taste of that, you folks that are curious. Here we go. Boot six. Gives me a little bit more evasion. That's really all it did. Okay. <laughs> it's not very exciting, but uh, whatever. The shield is a massive upgrade. So that was good. But yeah, you go here and you got this. This is how you do their stats. And you can respec anytime you want for free. You get free spec. Yo, Rat Burger, how are you, dude? So if I wanted to take some guard and get more speed, I could do that right now. And then you got your color. So you could change the color to anything you want on the RGB scale. So you can make a magenta. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, you know, a little something that. And then you got the macros here. If you do them in the right order, they do a special attack. So like X, R, and R just jumps behind the enemy and hits them twice. This hits all enemies. This swings three times, for example. This game is very cool. Yeah, I got this as a kid. It was awesome. Like, the, I will say that there's, there's some real jank with this game. The translation is very, very low quality. Um, there's typos, there's grammatical errors, there's phrases that don't make sense. Enix was shutting their doors in North America when this game was being uh, translated. So it received no marketing and a very low budget for its translation. And it shows. <laughs> but it's fun. It's really fun. Oh dang, McClellan. Well, the silver lining is you get to build new memories now if you want. So that's always good. I have a lot of shields. I don't really need to sell anything though. Bum, 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 bum. Coffee break? Oh, cool. Alright, so I got boot six, I got shield five. Um the only thing I'm really missing is blade four. Which is you know, like, it's a thing, I guess. I have a couple Blade 2s. To get Blade 4, I need a Blade 3. Or a Scrap 8. Scrap 8, huh? That's literally all Scrap 8's used for? Do I have 8? I don't. Okay. I'll wait till I get that done. That's fine. I could also combine Blade 3 with a seed. <laughs> if those games are on Steam, maybe Steam Cloud has your back. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. A lot of those games do get saved to the cloud. Alright, let's give this guy the boots for now. Let's give him a slightly better shield, just in case we had to throw him in combat. Just in case this guy gets blown up, he's got to go in and save his butt. Emergency engine use only. Hey, God, did you see that, that boy? Yes, I saw him. He went in where there was nothing that appeared. A mysterious boy. I want him to come and play when the house is done. Well, we have to look for another place. I'll build somewhere in this forest. I hope that he will come to visit. Okay. That's odd. He wants the boy to come and play. Good. Good. No, no, I don't need to go here again. Doom. 
Save game. I need to take a quick break. Wanted to make sure that you caught that. Do, 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 do. Mug. Oh my god, this cat. Which are my emotes? Oh right, you're not subbed. <laughs> you're not subbed. That would be why you don't know. Here, hold on. There you go. All right, Delph, have a good sleep, man. Thanks for hanging out. Mog, please don't lay in my mixer. He's got his feet on my arm here. Can you see this cat? <laughs> yes. Kitty. Ow! Ow! Mog! What are you doing? Oh, let go. Kitty. It's playtime, apparently. <laughs> Ow! He's gonna de-glove my bicep? Yeah, that's, yeah. That sounds about right. Kitty, I'm gonna rub your tummy. You didn't like that, did you? See? That's what you get. <laughs> Lickity, get off the mixer! Fuck! Why do you think this is okay now? You're going on the floor. <laughs> go, go. Kitty. <laughs> she just stepped on a bunch of buttons. I hope you can still hear me. I think you can. Mog, can you stop being a little furry terrorist right now? Oh, ow. I'm gonna rub your tummy, kitty. Kitty cat, I'm gonna rub your tummy. I got you. This is my kitty. No, this is my desk and my mixer and you are gonna behave. He's not gonna behave. Are you gonna behave? Is this okay? We're kind of freeze frame right here. I don't wanna move. Oh. Okay. He doesn't know what to do, yeah. He looks so confused right now. Mog. Are you gonna behave? That tail, there goes that tail. <laughs> Lol no is the correct answer. Yeah, he's not. Why have you scooped me, ape? <laughs> Hi. This is this we're at a stalemate right now. I hope you understand. I'd had me skin feet. <laughs> hey, hey. All right, Jesus. All right, I need to check my mixer. <laughs> uh, Aryan gods are from the Indian subcontinent. Uh, some are precursors, some also exist as Vedic gods in Hinduism. Interesting. I did not know that. Hold on. Just like cat fur all of this thing now. All right. All right, I think we're good on the mixer. <sighs> he wasn't mad, Lonnie. He gets like that when he's just ha like super happy, excited. I promise you, if he was mad, I'd be bleeding everywhere. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Which emote is that? Stare? No, I wasn't inspired by that, but I did have my own idea similar to that, Mary, which is lickety. Doing that. <laughs> uh, so don't worry. We've got our own version. We've got our own version. <laughs> That's our cat tier. Tier 2 emotes right there. 
He didn't scare away Lickety. She came over because he was being a little shit and started, she started walking on my mixer. Hmm, the weird guy's gone. Rask! Do, 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 do. Sorry I'm so late, I made some meta- uh, ah! <laughs> What's wrong? Did that good for nothing hurt you? I'm a monster! And he just runs off. What a jerk. Should've guessed it was a two cat- It was a two cat job, Mizveth. It really was. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Uh. Well, the Choco robots are uh, Choco robots are common, but you weren't afraid of me at all. Why? Uh, Napoleon, you're awake. Yes, it's me, Napoleon. What have you been doing? What's happened? Please tell me. The ship went out of control and fell into a cave. What about your ship? I left a blueprint of the new engine in there. Okay, then a woman came. Oh, she stole the Tetron. We gotta go. Well, I see, but you have to take it easy now. I'll get the Tetron back for you. I'll go tell Cookie and Gato right away. I'll be back. Gato, Gato is here. Wait, don't tell Gato. Oh, go, oh no. Uh oh, Gato. He's two timing. That robot, stop him. This Gateau, the Tetron, he must never know. Okay. Apparently Gateau is not allowed to have Tetrons. Vote for Pedro? Yeah, sure. Do, 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 do. Did I read these? I think I did. I did read these, okay. I'm getting two time by French cake, yeah. Yeah, you parsed that correctly, Hardy. Thank you. <laughs> you got it. You know what you're talking about. GG. Did stream quality drop? I have not dropped, knock on wood, any frames tonight. But, Darkblade, you are not the only one that said that. So, we are drawing the conclusion that Twitch itself is having issues tonight. Because I am looking at the big old fat drop frames, network frames, zero out of 1.27 million. So I've literally had no internet issues yet. You know how it is with Tetrons. The first one's always free because they know you'll be back to get more. Yeah, you're right. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like worse than heroin. It's crazy. You're seeing cleanup in Alaska. What does that mean? It's too noisy. Someone stole something from Rask. He went to the cave to look. Okay. The music in this game is actually pretty good. I don't really like the nursery rhyme music in the town, though. F of illusion. Yeah. Da, 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 da. DM is running a campaign in the style of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, and you're part of the Wu story. The other two groups doing Shu and Wei stories. Or she, it's she, right? 
Is she? Maybe? Not sure. Turn this down just a bit. I kind of like when I'm up here and the game's just under me, you know? Like that way I don't have to shout as much. I find myself shouting over the game and I kind of want to curtail that a little bit. Shout less. Saves my friend, you know, it's pixelated. Really? That's really weird. Are you watching on mobile? Just curious. Do you have it set to auto on the transcodes? Just curious. Or on desktop set to auto? Because it might do that. <laughs> if it's set to auto and your internet is bad right now, it's going to lower the quality of the video so you can keep watching. Not pixelated, Camilla. Right on. Thank you. You always pronounce as it reads? Okay. iPad app? Okay. So you're watching on a Wi-Fi on a tablet. It's pixelated because your internet isn't able to keep up. <clears throat> Usually the transcode option will be set to auto, especially on mobile devices, and lower the visual quality so that you can keep watching the video when your internet can't keep up. Auto 160, yeah. Means your internet is not happy right now. You might want to check that. Boom. Thankfully, now that I'm partner, I don't have to transcode fish anymore. Who remembers when I would transcode fish every stream? <laughs> oh, that was never fun. Let me tell you. She was pronounced pretty closely to how it reads. Okay. Sweeps, that honestly sell, it sounds very fun. I hope it's a good campaign. I was like, I remember, I remember Transco fishing. I remember. He remembers. He remembers. Ah, oh, shit, I got it ambushed. Flare would show up early and make emotes at it, yeah. For those of you that are not partner and don't know what I'm talking about, Transcode fishing. I'm very big, very big into analytics. Why is this relevant? I would look at the distribution of my audience every stream. Not every stream, but most. It tells you who's watching on desktop, who's watching on iOS, who's watching on Android, uh, who's watching on Roku devices, Fire Sticks, uh, consoles, and then other, there's a whole bunch of categories. More than 50% of my audio does not use desktop to watch me. They're using consoles, mobile devices, or other devices. So I would ensure that every stream, I would start the stream and check in my dashboard if I had transcodes. And if I didn't, I would end the stream and restart it until I got them. If I didn't do that, then more than half of my audience could not watch me at the quality that I was outputting which was 1080p, 60 FPS, 6,000 bit rate. Not something I recommend anyone does unless they know they will have transcodes. I did that because I have the hardware to support that level of visual quality in video. Uh, I know how to set the encoding settings to utilize that quality. And I wanted to make sure that everyone across all devices had the highest quality they could possibly watch with the control over it. But it meant that some streams I'd have to stop and restart at the very beginning two, three, five. One time it was 42 times. We think there was a problem with Twitch's ingest servers because it took 30 minutes. <laughs> I would do that very stubbornly every night until I had quality options for all for more than 50% of my audience. And the ones even on desktop that might've had bad internet, you know, or just kept it low for whatever reason because data caps, you know, are a thing. Ugh. <laughs> You just have to go audio. Uh, Dark Blade, maybe, yeah. I would try setting it at 360 or 480p because it's it's very rubber bandy. It really jumps. So try putting it at 360 or 480p Dark Blade and see if it's stable. 
It probably will be a pretty good experience. It usually works out. Boom, boom. As an affiliate, you should do 720p, 60 FPS, 3500 bit rate if your your hardware and internet can support that. 480p since you mostly listen instead of watch. Honestly, Sammy, when I have streams on my second or third monitor, on my second, usually it's the second, which is the one I have chat on. Like on my day off, instead of chat and alerts on the vertical monitor, I'll just put the bottom third of the monitor as a Twitch stream and put it at 480p because it's only so wide, you know, on a vertical monitor. And then I'll do my own thing on the main monitor. So I usually put it at 480p because it's only 1080 pixels wide when it's vertical, right? So that means that the actual video player with chat in it is only like 600 pixels or so wide. So there's really not much reason for me to go higher than that when I use the vert for that. Yeah, I've had some pretty bad ISP issues every single year. Um, they're getting better with keeping me in the loop. They're not good. They're just getting better. <laughs> it's hard not to be better than with where they were. So, yeah. You watch on desktop on a low quality because if you do too high, it starts stuttering. Your connection is not fast. And that's another reason why I would ensure that I had quality options. Because not everyone has good internet. There's a lot of streamers locked at 720p and you straight up can't watch them. Yeah, I understand. I mean, it's, if you can't watch them because of a resolution, it means your hardware is not good. If you can't watch them at 720p um, but you have good hardware it's not the resolution it's the bit rate boop, boop. you moved it up streamers who broadcast at 1080 don't fish for transcodes right I know yeah a lot of them don't do that and honestly I don't I don't know if it like Twitch cares that people do that because ultimately it's a, a nuisance and it's random, you know, it's based on availability. So I don't see them being like, yeah, this isn't okay. Like I doubt they gave a shit. Like I literally told people at Twitch that I would do that sometimes. I mean, like whatever. <laughs> it's like, you want to start and stop your stream until you get it. They didn't respond to it, you know, but it's like, it obviously wasn't a concern, but I I don't recommend people do that. I recommend you setting your bit rate and your resolution to something that's going to work for most viewers. That's all I'm saying. You want to do streaming, Pie Man, but the max you seem to get here in Canada is 10 megabits up. That's enough. Like, you could do 5,000 bit rate, but I don't think you should not as an affiliate like 3600 bit rate is the is probably more than i would recommend you do you should do 3000 to 3500 at 720p like are you a partnered channel do you always get quality options no then don't go higher than that <laughs> you should never go higher than that in that scenario what do you want i'm in the middle of something get out okay bye i'm gonna go this way keep drilling Drill can't be used on this hole that has a drill. Okay, hold on. It's glasses time. Maybe we'll find a hidden uh, NPC somewhere in here. Bump, bump. Or maybe we're not even in the right place. That could be too. Yes, Mog, are you back? Are you going to cause more trouble? Mog's back. You guys going to be streaming N64 games? I got news for you. There was pretty much zero N64 games that could go higher than 30 FPS. <laughs> they could technically. Most of them didn't. 
Like Mario 64 was usually like 15 to 20 FPS. You're going to play N64 games, man? I mean, if you're emulating them, yeah, they'll be higher. Um, but yeah, if you're an affiliate, just do 720p, 60 FPS, or even 30 to make it a more crisp visual quality. And don't go higher than 3,500 bitrate. Can viewers tell what bitrate is? Yes. Let me show you how. It's actually quite simple. I can't tell you how on mobile, however. So I do not have that information. But you're a desktop user. You want to know what bitrate I'm at, right? There you go. You click this gear icon on desktop, right? Okay. You click... Oh, fuck, I saw my viewer count. I hate that. Click this, settings. Then you go to advanced. And then you check video stats. And if the video is playing, it'll say playback rate is your bitrate. And it says... It's hovering around 6K because bitrate isn't contrary to popular belief. Even though it's on constant bitrate, it's not. It does fluctuate. But as you can see, I'm outputting about 6K bitrate. I could go higher. I could go up to, I think, 8,000. Uh, but I've been weighing that option, but I don't know if I really need to because I play mostly retro games. I think that's more important for people who have more action-oriented games. But yeah, that's it. It brings up this diagnostic here. Uh, it'll say the bit rate. It'll tell you your uh, latency, things like that. The frame rate, the output resolution, which is the top, that's 1080p. Then the display resolution is actually the size of the video window itself. So if I uh, undid this, as you can see, it goes to 865 by 487. If I go to theater mode, it's now 1105 by 957. Not scaled cleanly at all. Finception. I know it's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's it. That's all you do. You just uh, advanced video stats. That's it. That's all you're looking for. That'll tell you the bit rate you're watching. Your internet companies are monopolies. You can't get fiber. That's true most of this country. So, yeah, you know, I'm there too, man. I have shitty Comcast. I make the best of it. I have, I pay out the ass for 35 upload. I should not have to pay as much as I do for 35 upload, but here we are. So, hey, make the best with what we got, right? Ooh, treasure. Let's get it. Theater mode is extremely underrated. I use it on every single Twitch stream. It gets rid of all the sidebars, all that extraneous stuff. It just chat and video and nothing else. So it'll help your browser render things a little easier. Um, ow. It'll help your GPU composite things easier. Like, cause there's just less on the screen that's changing or showing. So yeah. Theater mode is great. Recommend everyone use it. That's using a desktop experience. Helps in discord too. Yes. If you are screen sharing on discord, streaming on discord, do 720p 30 fps there's no reason to go higher than that because discord gives you to put it bluntly they give you fuck all when it comes to transcode options they really don't give you anything so you pretty much always want to do 720p 30 fps on discord man this must be the wrong way Let's keep these on for now. Let's see if we don't see any like hidden NPCs or anything. Water. Okay. Oh, those guys are gating me in now, aren't they? Shoot. All right. I guess we're fighting them. All right. We'll fight him. Discord is sloppy encoding. Yeah. It's very less than ideal. 
Greg, have you had a chance to run the sub tracker parallel tonight or no? Oh, this guy. Look at that. <laughs> Get out of the way. Go up. Nice. All right. That actually worked. <laughs> Since you told me the update, you had it running. What's it say? Is the sub count right now? On the night. There's too many of these enemies. Too many. Not really sure where to go once again. You know, I was thinking, okay, maybe invisible NPC somewhere, hidden entrance. I'm not seeing any. It shows 23? Okay. Once I restarted it, it was fine. I have a test you can try if and only if you have a external hard drive. Let's see where this goes. And one that's slow. Because I have this thing that happens on that PC. Well, on any PC, to be honest. I have these 10... So get this, folks. I have these 10 terabyte external hard drives. I have two of them. Yes, that's 10 terabyte. <laughs> Why? Because I locally record every stream. Anyway. If the thing isn't used for a little bit, it turns off, sort of. Like it goes to sleep. And then if they try to access a file on it, like the whole system will just like stall for five seconds. And I'm wondering if you have a way to emulate that reg and see if that's causing a disconnect. Run in circles, panicking, when in doubt where to go. Thank you, Dark Cuckoo. That's some, some good advice. Thank you. The hell. <laughs> I need safe. Look at this bird. Bird's going crazy. That bird was running in circles and panicking, wasn't it? Yeah, it drives me nuts, LSD. Because it stalls OBS. So I have to make sure that thing is awake before I start OBS. Because here's what happens when OBS stalls like that. Everything's just behind. It's happened to me during stream before. It literally adds five to ten, ten seconds of delay that never just catches up during the stream unless you stop the stream and restart it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of messed up. Uh... There exist tools to write in a set interval to lose drive so it won't auto sleep. Yeah, I don't like the auto sleep. Like I get there, the, these, both of these drives are meant basically in the way I'm using them. They're there to be just backup solutions, not active ones. So I understand, but I don't like that it stalls the whole system when it wakes up. And I'm wondering if that's causing Reg's sub tracker to just shit the bed, you know? All right, if anyone here knows this game, nobody has all night, by the way. Literally no one. But if you do, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Again. Uh, you'd figure there'd be power options to keep it awake. I, I mean, there might be. I haven't looked very hard. Because there's always so much on my plate. I just never take the time to look that deep. But yeah, that'd be nice. Man, this sword is so good. The only thing about this sword that's not good? Well, there's two things. Enemies that have elemental resistances, it's useless on them. And you can't open capsules in battle. Capsules in battle can have full heals, they can have extra experience, they can have items, or they can blow up in your face. <sighs> it is fun. This game is honestly pretty fun. It's not a great 
It's a, okay, it's a bad translation. It's a pretty bad translation. I would actually be curious if anyone out there had retranslated this as a ROM hack. Because I'm just playing my actual cart on the Super Nintendo right now. The fact that the translation is so bad is why I keep getting lost. Because there's pretty much no conveyance going on here. No, I don't want to do that LSD. I don't want to hook it up to the internals. I want to keep the airflow the way it is because the CPU is burning hard every stream. And I don't want to add more power strain to that power supply, nor do I want to add more restricted airflow in the inside that case. All right, we're getting a level. So Wally is, oh, you can go over a hundred hit points. Okay, right on. All right, well, Wally, that's Wally's job now. <laughs> You could go over a hundred. How about that? At some point with Qbert, I'm just going to be burning all that on HP. It was called slapstick in Japan. That's correct. Oh my god. I just looked at a hint as to what to do next. Hey Cassie, how are you? You staying sassy? <laughs> you staying sassy? Just gotta I gotta know, you know. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're done here. We gotta go back to the cave. Stay away, bird! Oh my god, it's bird! All right. You're sassy and sleepy and chugging coffee. Did you just wake up? Yeah, yeah, too many gator heads and I got through. Okay, you've been up for a while. Okay. Why are you chugging coffee then? You gotta stay up? I'm assuming for the night. Yeah, I never would have guessed this, by the way, but I'm going to show you what we're supposed to do here. This hint was pretty obvious. Ding. Okay. Boom. Goddamn, the sword is... I'm so glad we got it. <laughs> it's so good. If you get Robotrek, try to get Sword 4 as much as you can. And Axe 3. Oh, man. I mean, obviously experiment. There's a lot of weapons in this game I'm just not even using. There's, like, fist weapons. There's hammers. There's rocket hands. There's guns. There's lasers. Bombs. Uh... Blades that shoot elemental energy. Like, there's all sorts of cool stuff. I found two weapons that are just carrying the day. <laughs> the game has terrible hints, Cuckoo. I had to look it up externally. Which I ain't gonna sweat. You know, if I'm just roaming around aimlessly for hours, I don't think that's very fun for anybody. So, I look up hints if I have to. Yeah. Because I've been asked in chat all night. Nobody knows this game. So, like, all right, all right. We'll see what I can find out there. Because ultimately, I want to enjoy this game as much as possible. And aimless wandering for hours is not really in that wheelhouse, in my opinion. Bump. Yo, Ugyu. How you doing today? Yeah, this is one of those rare games... Regison knows obscure RPGs and bad ones and, as well, and he doesn't know this game. There's something very strange about that to me. I don't think I've ever seen a weird RPG that Reg didn't know about, but this is one of them. Like, we, we, we finally stumped him. <laughs> I 
Are those clowns from outer space? I don't know what you're talking about, but yes, they are. <laughs> they actually are, yes. Uh, the, these clowns are from outer space, yes. You never had a chance to play, just watch, okay. God, stop moving. What? Oh, I can't move. Oh, he wouldn't open the secret door because he thought someone was watching him. So I had to be a mouse. Well, that's clever. That makes sense. Okay. All right, nobody's in here. Let me save. Nice, finally. Mm. You're reselling something? What are you reselling, Ugu? Mm. By the way, uh, folks, can I show you something that I uh, ordered yesterday? Because I got paid yesterday. I got my uh, monthly bits and subs payout. Was it the saving noise? It was, you wanna hear it again? I would like to save. There you go. Also, we were apparently at exactly 1,000 megs. Interesting. Yeah, let me show you something I ordered yesterday. It was... You know how every once in a while people tell you you need to treat yourself? I did. But I'm also going to make this... Uh, I think I'm going to build this on stream. So I thought I would share this with you. And I'll give you the link. This is my affiliate link, by the way, but this is the link to what I got. And if we go here and then do this, you'll see this. I'm gonna put it on the shelves behind me. Beer? No, beer will come tomorrow. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna try some grapefruit shandy. I'm kind of feeling it right now. You know, I'm feeling the fruity beer. You know, not so much fruity. It's more, it's got that like kind of IPA style to it. Very citrusy, but not fruity, you know? Yeah, I got this. I wanna build this on stream, cause it's retro. It's retro, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's retro. So, I think this will work. I think this will work. We'll go in the retro category, we'll build this. I'll have multiple camera angles. Because I have technically three webcams, though one is cat cam. Which this guy doesn't use very much over here, this mod guy. I thought it would be cool to build this while we listen to like some retro remixes. You know what I'm saying? I thought it would be very cool. Dun, dun. Finish the job, Flair. Dun, dun, dun. Brings back memories playing NES in the old UHF TV. It does look like one of those, doesn't it? Working it? Okay, hold on. I got it. It's just one click. <laughs> it's literally one click. <laughs> uh, so yeah, look. Now here's the interesting thing about this. Um, there's moving parts on this thing. So I thought, you know, it's something we could do together. It'll be like a special stream. We'll do it like a Saturday, like a retro variety night, you know, or something like that. I thought it'd be cool. So I went ahead and got it. Went ahead and got it. You put too many things on your plate? Yeah, dude, that's, that's really important not to overwhelm yourself. If you're anything like me, and I'm pretty sure you are, based on discussions we've had in serious, serious discussion chat, um, having too many options means you choose none of them, right? It'd be fun if it works. Yeah, yeah, it would. But I don't really know how they would pull that off. 
Dun, dun. The hacker's leader rose. After the explosion, there was a hundred year time slip. I suffered after that. I started a theft ring and collected money for research. And how, why is she telling me all this? <laughs> uh, why is she telling me all this? Oh, man. Bum, bum, bum. Science theft. I don't. I don't know. Too many choices means nothing gets chosen. Yeah, that's why I look at my Steam list all the time, and I'm like, um, <sighs> your favorite thing you found that's video game related are piranha plant slippers that's come with a little pipe shaped holder. That's adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. <clears throat> All because of you, you wrecked my plan. I'm so happy to meet you in this world and to get Tetron back again. The Tetron is mine now. Now I'll never bother you again. Okay. Oh, good. I fell in a hole. Damn it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we need our light. Sunshine doesn't reach the dark places. Sanders noticed he had dropped some of his inventory. Oh, good. This is fine. <laughs> But yeah, the whole like too many choices, none gets this, you know, made is a hallmark of ADHD. Oh, the decision itself becomes exhausting. Of course, my lamp is gone and my, what else? My lamp is gone and one other item. I'm not sure what that item is. Hmm, I don't know. Can also be an issue with autism. I didn't know that. Interesting. Is it seriously gonna make me run around in the dark like this? Oh my God. <laughs> this is not fair. What about these? No, okay. Damn it. Oh my God. Atomic did that wow that is a name. I hope it works for you, man. Oh the drill is gone, you're right. Antalia, good eye, wow. Good eye. Uh, oh man. Damn, those guys block a lot. Did they say, uh, Rusted, how long it'll be uh, before you start to recognize any changes? No dopamine? Honestly, that's probably what I need. Something like that. Here's things that I notice about myself that work, and I, I can't do them. I can't do them, really, because then I don't sleep. But if I have... Oh, I can see! You guys can see way better than me! If I put these on, all I see is around me. It's pitch black. There's barely a light, and then you can see it fine. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I was so blind. But anyway, for me, caffeine or stimulants. So if I drink way too much coffee in a day, I get shit done. Like I go ham. I'll spend 14 hours working on like stream stuff, just banging it all out. If I don't do that, oh man, I'm just like obsessively like clicking web pages and social media and talking in discord, uh, getting some things done in between and getting distracted by literally everything in the world. Woo! <laughs> Like, it is so, so hard for me to maintain focus on something. Unless I have a lot of stimulants. And I don't know why. Scrap eight. Ooh. What is exactly you? So, I've been cutting back caffeine significantly. Because I don't want that to become a crutch. So, what I used to do is I would make a pot of coffee and it was like the four cup amount right 
you fill it up to the line that says four, whatever a cup is, it's not really, whatever, anyway. And I went to put two heaping tablespoons of coffee, ground coffee, in the mixer, or the maker. Now I line it up to six, and I put one not heaping tablespoon of coffee in the, in the, the filter. So I've significantly reduced the caffeine intake. But I know if I accidentally put too much in there, suddenly I want to accomplish the world. And then I don't sleep that night. I get like three to four hours of sleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there's a trade-off. I will get so much done and the next day I'm wrecked. Uh. You're feeling it and sleeping the whole night, but once you wake up, you're groggy and wide awake, but not moving. Oh man. Mog, what are you doing? Mog's being weird. Yeah, there's some things that help me. You're thinking of changing your goals around the channel? If they're your own that you posted, you can always edit the message. It's fine, dude. Whatever you need to do for you, you do for you. Um, it takes me one or two hours to actually get up after waking up. And I think that has a lot to do with what a friend of mine calls sleep hygiene, of which I have very little. Like I lay down and I have a stream on, right? And I fall asleep to that stream or a YouTube video. Uh, I'm literally watching an OBS because it's so dark. I wake up and I have a stream on. <laughs> or I'm catching up with email or catching up with Discord or DMs in Discord. Uh, or sending emails or, you know, catching up with social media or... But if I don't do that and I just get up right away, I almost always just like fall back to sleep wherever I end up, whether that's like the couch or the chair here. Uh, so there's really, I don't really know where the happy medium is there. Stratera works for some people, you know. I would have to get a diagnosis to ever try anything like that. So, like I'm self-diagnosed. That means anything to anyone. Say like 90% certain. Well, they have an insomnia, hypersomnia, or sleep apnea. Uh, what is hypersomnia? Is that like when you sleep too much? I definitely have insomnia. Like last night I got f four hours, then awake for three, then one. That happens maybe half the time. Something like that. Dun, dun, bump. Bump, 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 bump. I, w I, I went to sleep last night and the strangest dream woke up. I saw a rural visage was live, hung out in her channel because I could not fall back to sleep. I just could not. I tried. I like, this is not happening. Mog kept attacking me, so he doesn't help. You know, he makes this guy right here. Who decides he's going to clean his butt right in front of me. He thought that waking me up three times or whatever was a good idea. <laughs> what are you looking at, Mog? There's nothing over there. Those are cables. Little dude. Dun. Bump, bump. Hypersomnia is where you sleep really long but don't feel rested. Oh, uh, okay. What do you see, Mog? What are you looking at? Something's got him spooked. I think it might be the fan. I have a fan that blows on my camera. Oh, I didn't realize you were also 39. Interesting. Mog. Hey, it's okay. What's got you so interested over there? Hmm? Oh, I'm not going to look at that. He's got the one foot pointing straight up in the air. If you've ever owned a cat, you know what that means. 
I don't know how they do it. It's always like the one leg just goes straight up, like perfectly perpendicular to the ground. <laughs> you okay? No? Oh, good boy. Good boy. You need to lay down? Something got you spooked right now? Playing the chess. <laughs> Uh, I never heard it referred to that way, but wow. <laughs> yeah, cat yoga. That's pretty much it. What are you doing? Mock, please don't break TOS, says Ludeo. Oh, no. He's got me very distracted right now. I'm like, what are you going to lay on? Last time I didn't pay attention to you, you sat on the soundboard and then I made a TikTok video out of it. Do we have that command yet? Did I ever make that? Did, did a mod make that? I don't remember. Let's see. Does it work? No. Lundea, I hope you feel better. Good luck. Right, he's cleaning himself. He's combing his hair right now, so we'll let him do that. I have to keep these shades off because I can't see where I'm going on my monitor because it's an old 21-year-old CRT monitor. Not even exaggerating. Cat? Yes. Toxoplas... Toxoplasmane. Toxoplasmane. Huh. I think that's how you say that. All right, let's stay over here. He can't get me. Yeah, my cat's right here. It's not good when your monitor's so dark, even at max brightness. You have to look in your OBS preview window to see where you're going. <laughs> ah, shit. Darn. Nice, got him. Let's let you sleep seven hours straight. Calming brought clarity, thought, emotion, remembering past. Wow. Dude, don't... Rusted, you should never feel compelled to tell anyone about that unless you want to. It's nobody's fucking business, dude. Plain and simple. And I'm not saying don't tell us. I'm saying that if you think that there are people out there that don't deserve to know, then don't tell them. There's literally no one... I think, I think, I think literally no one in this country is legally obligated to ever know that about you for any reason <laughs> like there are crazy laws about that kind of thing that information is only to be shared with who you want to share it with and no one else and if you think someone's not going to keep their mouth shut then they don't deserve to know well, my cat's sleeping on the bed now Toxo but if they show up on cam again I'll make sure to let you know I am very lost right now. I'm stunned, a tough robot. I hurt you so much, but you're still moving. Of course. It was made by Rask and Gato, robot. I'm hard to destroy. It's Gato asked me to kill you, but I'll help you. Gato first. What? I have to finish you off before I, wait, what? He said he just said he would help. Oh my god. All right. All right, let's go. You can carry a can everywhere. No one asks you why. I think that's true. That would explain why in my security briefings of my last job, they said if someone has a cane, don't ever ask them about it. <laughs> so yeah, that checks out. Uh I said, just let him have it. I'm like, all right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
be terrified if you ended up in a maze with spinning T posing clowns. It's a little creepy, isn't it? I just wanted to walk hand in hand with a girl. What does that mean? This translation makes no sense. None of the lines from one to the next ever have any connection. <laughs> what the frick? Uh, what a surprise. You didn't know people from here could make robots. I came here with Gato, but we got separated. I can't believe what he did. Okay. I'll fix you. Without spare parts, I can't be fixed. I do have spare parts. I think. I have this. Scrap A. Okay, that's not what he's asking. Okay, never mind. It sounds like he needs something literally called spare parts. We don't need 8 million repairs. We have a full inventory here. Alright, so let's go find these spare parts. He doesn't understand! <laughs> what are you, Q? No? Alright, John Delancey. What computer are you going to make next for me? And better let me change reality, wise ass. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go. Alright, there's a door over there. I may or may not have come from that door. I don't recall. If you're trying to get a job in the interview phase, they ask about your illness or whatever you may have. You just say the worst of it is over. You say you're recovering. Are they allowed? They're not allowed to ask that question. At least not in the United States. I don't think. So. You can find a diplomatic way to answer it or you can lie. Only the finest of trolling. <laughs> That's it, nicey. That I love that that wine glass. It's called juice. Oh, get out of here! Nobody's gonna mistake that for juice. <laughs> Mog, don't you sit on my mixer, kitty. I'm watching you. Oh man. You're torn about telling your employer. Yeah, it could go one of two ways. One. It could afford you more consideration for the issues you're dealing with, uh, such as leave or, you know, whatnot. Or two, the employer could be total shitbags and start restricting things like hours and whatnot and lie about why they're doing it. So I don't have an answer there. I really don't. I think I would just personally probably keep it to myself unless something got serious but I don't really know Mog he, he's pushed the phantom power button before and I don't use it man make sure you can provide a copy of your prescription if you get tested by drug test that, that's, that's good that sounds like good advice Germany, they're not allowed to ask that, and you're actually allowed to lie. Hmm. Pretty much, Mugu. <laughs> yeah, I added that BTTV emo for folks here like a couple weeks ago. I thought people would like this one. <laughs> I know Thunderkoi likes that one a lot. I see. I saw him. I think he was the reason why I added it, because I saw him. He, he kept using it in Discord. I'm like, man, I got to add this one. Lightning Fish really likes it. The way is blocked by fallen rocks. Okay. We need to find this guy's spare parts. Your body goes, Burr. Seth, why are you awake? Wait a minute. Does not compute. Oh, jeez. All right. We're fighting this thing. Na, 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 na.
Because you just got home from work. You were allowed to leave early. Oh, that's right. You're working overnights now, aren't you? I forgot about that. You don't work mornings anymore. You work overnights. All right. I think this right here is what I need to get. Without a drill. I don't have a drill. Dun, 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 dun. Wait the fucking minute. Oh my god. In your browser, it's a bit faster in the video feed. <laughs> I think it's just fun. You have a class for work tonight, and your manager is awesome. Oh, okay. Dude, that's good to hear. He was like half sprawled on the mixer. <sighs> come on, come over here. Go in your bed, come here, or go somewhere else, but not on the mixer. <laughs> uh, you have a union? Oh, nice, dude. Nice. I wonder if you can't. I don't know. I would talk to whoever, like, your physician is or whatever. Ask them what their advice is. Because they also work in Alaska, right? They probably know more about, like, unions and shit out there. You don't want to stigma or kid gloves. Right. No! Mug, stop it! Stop laying on my mixer. Kitty. He is not behaving today. Did you see how rambunctious he's getting? Look at my hand. Holy crap. Look at that. He's getting feisty. He's feisty. I mean, I'll take it. I'd rather that than him, like, get his claw stuck. He got his claw stuck in the mixer once, and he was freaking out. I don't want that to happen again. And, you know, if he does it wrong, he could, like, cut a cable or get his claw stuck in the wrong thing and shock himself. That's the last thing I want to see happen. So, Got to be strong-handed about it. Apparently, spare parts are repairs. There. Okay. Then I don't have any lights. I dropped the light. Oh, he has light. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. 
we can see. Oh my God, I can put these back on. It was getting too bright for me. <laughs> it's like, man, it's too much. I don't have a drill. I wonder if he will drill through walls though. Like there's treasure right there. We want to get that. We're going to fight this thing. I know it's worked on testing the saw. Okay, Zaparo. Thank you, bot. Last is not a right to work state. Good. You don't want to fucking work in a right to work state. I promise you. <laughs> Jesus, dude. A right to work state means your employer could fire you at any time for no reason. Don't believe me? Try it. Because <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> uh, it is the worst. Here we go. I can break this wall. Okay. GG. Got my light. What do you mean, sorry if you're too active in chat? Excuse me? I'm sorry. Did I start a lurkers only channel and I didn't know about it? I'm sorry if anyone made you feel like you weren't allowed to talk in chat. Right to work basically means slave. Yeah. Yeah. It's not not anything anyone should ever want. <laughs> you gonna do some drawing? Nice. Someone's coming to pick up your TV. Oh, I see. Bump, bump. Uh, one thing I do miss about my last job is definitely that it's the insurance. My insurance was so good that I had like people in federal jobs and police jobs that were like, how is your insurance that good? That was pretty cool. It would be nice to have that again. <laughs> Holy crap. Was it good? Scrap five. Mm -hmm. Right on. Bump. Nah, nah. Nah. Viserl, look at you. Stop! Oh, darn. That's gonna hurt. Oh, I blocked it. That's lucky. He's throwing roses at a robot. And he did w predictably one damage. Okay. Cool. Honestly, I don't think anyone made him feel like he's not allowed to talk except himself. If I had if any understanding about him and that mentality. Self-imposed. Rusted. Enjoy all those finny bears for the next month. You get 26, well, 31, five of which are animated. And the ad-free experience. He pays his dues to the lurkers you need. <laughs> hey, no. 
<laughs> now we're just inventing things. Oh man, he's like, there are dudes. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. Ariam's like, oh my god, I have like a backlog. Oh god, I'm just so much back pay and dues right now. That one's pretty good. I got a host from Bird Certified. Yo, Bird, thanks. Right on. Appreciate that. How you doing? Wait, who has to pay these dues? Lurkers or not lurkers? The lurkers, apparently. No, no. Lurkers don't have to do shit. Except lurk. You know the old phrase. Lurkers are the backbone of Twitch. Chatters are the lifeblood. One does not exist without the other. That's just how it is. What do you mean, take care? He just... This guy just abandoned me. Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess we need our light now that we got back. Where's my drill, though? Is this my drill? Please be a drill. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, good. Uh... Well, that's one good way to get the lurkers out of lurk is to say that they owe dues, apparently. Look what you've done. <laughs> Yes, Sephiro. Can I help you? Well. That should be... Oh, Reg. Reg, help. Reg, are you here? Because it's not working again. <laughs> it should be 26? 27? I don't even know. You want a wheel spin? You got it, dude. All right, just give me a sec. I got to count. Let's see what we're actually at. Because our sub tracker doesn't cooperate with us anymore. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. One, a two, a three, a three, three, four, five. Wow, did I really miscount this? Hold on, I gotta do this again. One, two, three. Four, five, nine, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-two, no, twenty-three, uh, twenty-four. Yeah, this thing has been asleep for hours. Twenty-five. 26, Jesus, 27. So we're at 29, Sephiro. You just put us at 29. The, the counter, I'm sorry if I it misled. It's not intentional, I promise you. It's behind by, I think, a whole tier three sub that it just missed somewhere along the way. So I got to restart it again. I don't think Reg's here either, but we're at 29. We're at 30. <laughs> We're at 30. Okay, so that's two wheel spins that we owe. All right, dude, 30. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for the patience with our... Uh... This is a Twitch API, by the way. So the reason it's so buggy is because we're relying on Twitch's information that they just decide to send us most of the time. <laughs> And I probably wouldn't come back for 24 hours. That would be bad. Dude. Oh, a little stutter there. Bump, bump. See if I can save. Nice. No, 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 no. I'm not that. I want the light. There we go. Streamer banned from Twitch for too bad of a joke. Streamer tells pun, anger staff. Probably would get a lot of support from the community for that, actually. Might be a good PR move for Twitch. Banning streamers for terrible puns and dad jokes. Might be a good visibility boost. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Yo, nice, dude. You got your animated emotes. Who'd you end up going with for your uh, animations? All right, we got a door here. Oh, this was the right way. Oh, it's R&D, right on. Never mind. Well, let's do our repairs. I got too many recycles again. I seem to just get those constantly. Okay. Let's look into getting bomb three. Do, 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 do. I think I have bomb three. I do. Well, how do I level it up then? Yeah, that spew emote is really good. It is. That's. Yeah. <laughs> I love that it's the two parter. Like, it's perfect. All right, Zafiro. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks for the support as well, the gift subs and the resub. I don't think you can level up bombs in this. Like, bomb three plus bomb one should level it up. But it says can't combine. It must not work with bombs. You're totally not leaving because of bad jokes? I hope not. Oh, Hentalia, man. You're making me miss cereal. <laughs> I'm just like, man, I want cereal. See, like, punch one, punch three, it gets punch three, level two. Why doesn't this work with bombs? I don't get it. Shuski animated your existing ones. She does animations for in-game asylum. Ah, oh, okay. I've seen some pretty impressive animated emotes, but I think there's one person that's been standing out lately on that. As far as her animations, man. I see everybody using them now. Crazy. I see people in here use them. Uh, Lime Malicious, I think. They're little like ferret emotes. Oh my God, those are adorable. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I saw Twitch like promo them. It's like, yo, your emotes can look this good. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Your channel's gonna blow up. <laughs> yup. Yup. Sure is. Yeah, limes are good. Yeah, they're really good. To make robot, I don't need to make robot. I need to make higher level bombs. That's what I need to make. What if I combine big bomb with darn? Okay. Oh, I like that frog. That's cute. All right, rusted man. Have a good one. How do you level up bombs? <clears throat> Nobody knows. Well, wait, there's a bomb four. How do I get bomb four? That's not even in the list I'm looking. Okay. 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 There's a bomb four, apparently, folks. It's bomb one plus boot six. Yo. <laughs> That's not easy to get. That's exceptionally hard to get. 
I need to scrap 10 to get another boot six. Yeah. Yeah, if you can find out, Visceral, how to level up bombs. A stinky bomb? I guess, yeah. Well, boot six is like some kind of like hover boots, so I guess that's where they're going with that. What I'm trying to do is level up my existing bomb. And normally, what you would do is... Oh, look, I have Celtus 2. That's level 1. But I have a Celtus 1 that's level 2. So if you combine them, it would make Celtus 2 level 2, right? So you just buy 8 Celtus level 1s, stick them on this, and you suddenly have a max level Celtus 2. That works with all the other weapons, but not bombs. And I don't know why. I'm not really sure why. It's a little baffling to me. Like, I can just outright make bomb three, which is fine, but... You level them through level of capsules in combat. Yeah, that's how you level up all weapons. Except the other weapons, you also combine things. Are bombs only capsules? Because it was so... That sucks. Big booty holes. Like big stinky booty holes. I'm just like literally getting nose deep in there. <laughs> dun, dun. All right, where are we going here? I'm making weird water noises. Oh, I gotta take these off again because I can't see. Dun. Did I just go in a circle? I think I did. Bombs are only capsules. Okay. That's a big incentive to just not really use them. Circle of cave. It's a dead end. Okay. Dun, dun. I don't know where I'm going. The way is blocked by fallen rocks. Drill time. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was good. If I did it quick enough, that I wouldn't have to fight this. All right. All right, let's go in here. There's a staircase. Ooh, this is where we needed to be. There's invisible enemies. Masker. Okay. Two. I did two damage. He did 53. All right. Oh, we need the ax. Oh, please keep blocking. Fuck. <laughs> wow, these are strong. Oh my God. Uh, okay. We need to not be in this fight. He just crit Wally for 265. This is a bad, bad situation. Miss, nice. All right, cool. <sighs> Enemies like these, you gotta go melee. You have no choice. They have, you have no choice. Cause they do this. I might have to equip Vanish. These things are extremely dangerous. But if you can do that, they're kittens, right? This is where Axe shines. Really, if I give you the Tetron, I can return to my time. You don't know anything. Tetron is like a prism that shows time. As an experiment, they'll show you your past through this prism. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, 
may I have a favor to ask? Yes, what is it? Money? Anything. Just ask. Really? Sanders is three stones. I want them. They belong to someone. Nothing else? I'll buy new ones. No, only those will do. Right, I need them badly. Oh, okay. What's the name of that cube in the Marvel movies? You know what I'm talking about? There's a like big magic cube. Not so much big. The big bluey glowy cube. What's it called? Tesseract. Yes, that's it. Thank you. That's what that reminds me of. I feel like they wanted to call it a Tesseract, but the translators didn't know what the hell the word was, so they just were like, Tetra. Because <laughs> a Tesseract is a four-dimensional cube. That's what it is. And they're saying that this thing is like a prism for time. What do you mean I'm still up? I'm always up this late. <laughs> what do you mean I'm still up? I don't know how to respond to that, except confusion. <laughs> I'm literally always up this late. For years. What's up, Dorian? How are you? I'm going to be up for another two to four hours. Where have you been? This guy Tetrod is collecting in the future. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. If I eliminate you, you can't bother me in the future. Wait. Okay. What are you thinking? Tetron was one of Rask's inventions. Uh, I, I know. Rask deeply regrets having made this. You shouldn't know about the passage of time. So he left Choco looking for a place where he could bury it. Ah, uh, okay. What are my thoughts on Robotrek? Uh, the game's really fun. I like that you can build your robots. I like the full customization of stats and macros, the craft system. The translation is one of the worst I've seen, as you just saw. And, uh... So I can't make much sense of the story because of it. But I like all of the other stuff and the music. Oh, you changed your name? Cool. How's Qbert? Fine. Uh, uh, where are you going? This time she has a strong machine. Okay, here we go. Favorite growing streamers in terms of height. I guess if you want to interpret it that way, sure. Why not? We can go with that. I'm cool with it if you're cool with it. It's not what I meant, but you know, whatever. Ooh, okay. Okay, this thing's gonna be hurting me. Miss. I keep missing! Oh, this thing is a lot of evasion. 89, okay. We still wanna hit in the back, I think. Six. Don't do macros on this. Just single attacks and the button. Hassan? I don't consider Hassan a growing stream. I consider Hassan somebody who's at the top of the game. That's like the opposite of a growing stream. If it's the same one I'm thinking of. It's literally the opposite. Do you think that somebody who gets the most viewers on Twitch is a growing stream? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Uh, he's growing as a person. Okay. I guess I'll take that answer. That's not really what I was talking about, but it'll work. It's a way to highlight channels that are new and or up and coming. Not ones that are already have more visibility than most of the non-affiliates on the website combined. Oh, I can't attack. Interesting. It sealed my attack. Interesting. Alright, we better heal. Listen, my sister. I don't really know what kind of vibe you're used to. But this ain't it. Like, I'm not about bashing people. Or a group of others. That's not what I'm saying, and it's not what I want in my chat. So I think you really should tone it down. I asked a question on how we could highlight growing streamers, people who are up and coming, great channels, and you took that as a way to bash somebody and a group of people. I think you need to do a little self-reflection on that. Alright, I think I got this guy figured out. <clears throat> His little laser beam seems to seal random abilities of mine. So, it like it just did, it wouldn't let me attack. So on those occasions, I can block or heal. We should be good to go. Oh yeah, it's still sealed here. Okay, I'm just gonna guard until I can attack again. Well, boot six are really nice here because I can keep getting behind this enemy and hitting it for a lot of damage. Damn, didn't block it. What you doing, Lickety? The cat's laying down right next to me. The ones that I would like to shout out. I mentioned earlier, we have Tragic on Twitch. She's a really cool gal. She's in uh, one or both of my Twitch teams that I'm in. She's a retro streamer. She streams on hardware like myself. Uh, you have Bear Boo. She's an English streamer. So she usually is live right after I stop. My cat is licking me. What are you doing, Lickety? Are you licking me? That's what you do, isn't it? Nice little lady. Andy Earth? I like Andy a lot, but I haven't been able to hang out on her channel in a while. Hopefully her channel is growing. Because I've had a lot of conversations with her before about things like that. Bear Boo. Magnumer just put it in chat. Drown Wolf. Tragic is cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like her channel. Um, You gonna come over here, Kenny? Come on. Oh, she wants to go on the floor. Does she? I don't know what she... She doesn't know what she wants. <laughs> what are you doing? You want to lay down? I don't know if you can see this. Look at this cat. <laughs> you want to lay down? Go ahead. You can lay down. I'll help you. You won't fall. You know, sure your favorite? It doesn't have to be your favorite. Just anyone you've seen that's up and coming that you like, you know? We're not trying to make a list of popularity here. So, you know, you could just, you could simplify it that way. There we go. I got a lap cat now. You back with food? Right on. Right on. What'd you get? All right, lap cat. Enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Who else do I like to see? 
that's up and coming. Hmm. It's a tough question though, isn't it? We want more speed. Accuracy invasion. Nick Tacula. Variety streamer from Australia. A lot of hype and energy in your streams. Oh, cool. I never heard of them. Yeah, I'd invite you folks if you have somebody that you think is worth a shout out to put it in that plug channel on the Discord. Make sure you ping me in that channel. That way I can check them out. Huge production value. I've always liked having a lot of production value. Shuri Bear. Oh, I know Shuri. Current project is to beat Ninja Gaiden using the Power Glove. Oh my goodness. That is, that sounds miserable. <laughs> With the Power Glove, wow. That thing is not fun to use if you wanna do precision platforming. <laughs> uh. Bump, bump. Oh, I think Rose just got wrecked. Blow two. 3,000 gold. Okay. Cannot save. Slice of bread with cheese and sausage. Very Dutch. Oh, okay. Dun, dun. I think we need to leave now. That is if we can find our way out. I think this might be the way out. I'm gonna have to eat after this myself. I did not eat enough today. Oh man. Mog is making noises over there. He's struggling to get his bed exactly the way he wants it. He's like dragging it around and meowing at it. Poor cat. Shane's games was another one people mentioned. Shane is good. He's he's been consistently growing. You know? What are these robots? They have guns in their... What are these robots? Why? Why do I hear myself? Their... Wow, that was weird. That was really weird. All right, we killed him. A six-piece chicken nugget 12 hours ago. Pretty hungry. Yeah, that's not enough. Dorian, there's a channel that's growing. That dude... I want to steal Dorian's retro collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a loop. I clicked the wrong button in the browser and apparently went to my channel instead of uh, the dashboard. There's a growing channel. Dorian. Dorian's drink. Let's go to the spaceship. It's too noisy to go to the spaceship. All right, let's go somewhere else, save, and then go to the spaceship. F evolution. Oh, I can eat the claws. Oh my God. You don't look at the numbers? I mean, I think so, man. I think so. <laughs> Pretty sure you are. Dun, 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 dun. Do a little repair work here. Bear Boo usually is live. 
Like, I usually stop 5 a.m. my time. She's usually live 6. Playing a toe. Sorry, I came to see Rask. I can't help boring. Okay, we gotta go see Rask. Okay. I think 6 is when she's usually live. Yeah, the music in the spaceship is so good. I still want to steal Dorian's collection, though. <laughs> Dude has like, how many PS2 games did you say you had? Like 300 or something like that? It's just an absurd amount. I'm not going back. I have something I have to do on this planet. You're a Choco scientist. The Tetron is showing you, right? Choco will be invaded in the future. How can you tell the king to prepare for it now? It's cookie. What? Okay, I'm coming. That was Napoleon. Something's happening. Let's return to the ship, okay? I'm going. You must change your mind by then, okay? She just walks through me. All right, great. We meet again. I know the Tetron was stolen by Gato. I have a favor to ask. Follow Cookie and stop Gato. You're the only one who can stop Gato. If you don't, something awful will happen. I've only just met, but I feel as if I know you well. Okay. Sure. Yeah, dude, you have, like, some incredibly rare games. Not, not just some, but a lot. They should build a cool building like the Enix building in Kurukawa. Okay. Thank you for that fourth wall break video game. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a rig ribbon cutting ceremony wait on the other side of the bridge okay there's someone who gave a lot of money over there Sanders yeah that's me hi Sanders has given 7,000 gold altogether. Sanders gave so much. The town committee has decided to erect a statue of Sanders in the square. Wow. Okay. Wow. A memorial photo will be taken. Gather in front of the mayor's house. Okay. Cool. We're going to take a, a photo. A commemorative photo. This reminds me of Earthbound for some reason. Yo, dog, you gonna come with? Bow wow. He says bow wow with the relay. Interesting. He's supposed to actually talk. Oh, I guess I gotta go right there. Cheese! Oh, the dog's in the picture. Seems there's no port. There is no port, no. This is the only release of this game. Hardy. So you will have to find uh, alternative means. However, those I will leave up to your imagination because certain topics are not allowed to be discussed. You know what I'm saying? Know what I mean, Hardy? You have 307 PS2 games. Jesus. <laughs> I don't even have the space for 307 PS2 games. As much as I would love to have that many, I don't even have room for them. <laughs> How did you find shelves that would fit that many video games is what I need to know. Did they have, did you have to get them like custom made? Or did you just buy legit bookshelves? And Talia, there's like 2000 plus PS2 games. Yeah. I think it's like over 2,000. That's pretty wild. What do you mean? We already took a picture. One more. Cheese. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's another doggo. What's this doggo say? Who wants to play? We'll, we'll take a picture with this doggo. All right, cool. And play it with your imagination. All right, right on. Hopefully it's everything you hoped it would be. Mm -hmm. 
It's a flat media organizer from Best Buy. Dude, you don't have one shelf. I've seen your room. You have several. <laughs> you have way more than one shelf. He's being modest, folks. PS2 games aren't the only games he has. Yo, tell us, how is Policeman FBI? The horrible, horrible bootleg Famicom game. Did you even get it to work? Like, I would have put money that it didn't even work. He did like a one year stream anniversary and he had these like bootleg Famicom games that his friend thought were Genesis games. Cause his friend I think was from Romania or something like that. And they only had like bootleg consoles. I don't remember the whole story. Got toes out of control. Cookie and Rask are about to take off on the spaceship. It's moving. Sorry Sanders, I'll go to the cockpit and get Gato's attention. We have 10 minutes. That's enough time to start the engine to return to ground. Okay. I, what? Mog. Rask, whatever. What are you thinking, you fool? What? This Tetron's defective. Ha, that old trick won't fool me. You're always like that, Rask. Always ahead of me with that smiling face. Tetron was your invention too, but you refused to use it this way. So I'll use it. This prism will see the past, future, and control the flow of time. Okay. Dun, dun. It was Golgo 13? <laughs> Why did it have that label on it? Oh my god. <laughs> So they labeled Gogo 13 as something called Policeman FBI and it had Resident Evil 2 art on it. All right. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. Well, what's happening? It's defective. No way. You. You. Most creative games were out without biting me. Amazing, says Zapara. Thank you, Zapara. It was it was labeled okay, so it had a picture it was a bootleg Famicom cart, and this label, the sticker had Claire Redfield and Chris Redfield on it. And then Sub Zero. And it was labeled as a game called Policeman FBI. But apparently what was actually on it was Golgo 13. <laughs> you put them in share? Okay, yeah, we got to show the picture of this. Like, I'm not making this up. I'm just not explaining it very well. Oh, man. All right, where is it? Oh, man, people have been posting stuff. Okay. There. Yes. Okay. This, I... I have no explanation for this, and I don't think anyone else does, but this is the game that he actually played. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that's Dash. Oh, it looks like Sub-Zero with, like, some random dude's head on it. It's Dash Rendar from uh, Shadows of the Empire. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is Policeman FBI. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you got it to work, though. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> there you go. This is one of Dorian's bootleg Famicom games that his friend thought was from a Sega Genesis. Bootleg games are wild, let me tell you. Yo, Gangther, how are you? Hey, a back of the present. All right. No. No mug. He's being really nice right now.
Mog is cleaning my hand. He's being really, really a sweet cat right now. So I got to reward that behavior. Okay. All right, Moggy. You just chill right there. You keep your paws off the mixer. You've come to. Where does it hurt? What? Old Coco. You were dreaming. This is your house. Do you remember? I installed a switch to blow up the fortress with a laser. The fortress exploded. You were lying in the wreckage. I'm glad you're safe. What? Tetron. I picked it up from the wreckage. We'll talk about it later. Those are definitely his shoulders. That's pretty wild, yeah. Policeman, FBI, amazing day. <laughs> How is everyone else, Gangther says. How is everyone else, chat? How are you all, Gangthor wants to know. It's funny your friend thought they were Genesis. Yeah, the, uh, I remember you showed us the system itself and it kind of looked like a Genesis. A little bit. The beds in this game look uncomfortable, don't they? They look like you're just laying on a wood slab with a sheet. Do whatever you want, don't push yourself, he says. Okie dokie. Gogo13 is a hitman, not law enforcement. <laughs> nice. Wow, an earthquake. Sanders, okay to go out. Be careful. Okay. I'm asking you about the light. Why can't you go to the river? I want to see what fell. Everyone calm down. A light fell by the cave. We don't know what it was. It's dangerous to go there. Everyone wait here. I'll check it out. Okay. Counting the hours at work. Ah. Do, 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 do. There was a light in the forest. Okay. Dinner. All right. He's not saying anything different. I thought all the things that we did in the past would actually change things, but I'm not seeing anything different yet. Why did I give this guy all his money? Man, nothing changed, did it? Wow, okay. Glaring at scalpers? Yeah, I don't buy anything scalped. Oh, there's flowers. Okay, that did change. The great mayor was a fake. Yes, he was. Is he still mad? My daughter's gonna marry Coker's son. I'll be lonely, but he's such a fine man. I guess I did. Oh, it did change. Okay, cool. He gave me an heirloom jewel as a wedding present. We actually got these two happy kids together with our changes in the past. Pretty darn cool. Oh, geez. This guy still tells you about iframes when you reload the game. Oh, my God. That's... All right. Enough, enough, enough. There's flowers all over the city now. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get frustratingly far in this game without ever realizing you can get more stat points for your robot. Wow. This game would be nuts if you never raised your stats, Cyber. This game is still hard. <laughs> I'm just raising my stats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here's another thing we changed. Uh, it should be in here. Look, I'm on the wall. I'm on a photo on the wall. Crazy. Check this out. The old album. Huh, who's that guy in the middle there? Interesting. It's kind of neat. Nice little throwback. I'm glad you didn't spoil anything too, yes. But yeah. Do exercise caution. Right, this guy still has nothing useful to say. They want me to go to the cave. I'm really confused what investing in the shop actually did. Maybe his prices went down. Oh. Yeah, I think it made me have a discount here. I think that's what it did. anything in here after the cutscene. There's enemies. Nah, we don't want to do this. There's nothing here. Do, 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 do. Nah, they said they're going to the cave. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> These are like the lowest level enemies in the game, basically. You can't go in the cave. All right, what about here? What's up here? You can't go in the... All right, I won't go in the cave. I'm going in the cave. Frick. I'm going in the back entrance of the cave chat. Let's go this way. All right. What? Ah. How about a mouse? Hello, I am a mouse. Mice are cute. That's true. He's right. Maybe they'll let a mouse go in the cave, right? Now I have to fight the slime again, though. Or... I don't. Ha! They let a mouse go in the cave. Suck it, nerds. Um, hello? Um, are you from this planet? Hello, I'm Tira. Is this a cave planet? It's not too warm. It's just fine. I really like it. Okay. Okay. Princess, I told you not to go out. Back to the ship. Oh, what's this? Are you a sadness? What a coincidence. I'm a consul. People can see us here. Let's go somewhere and I'll fill you in. Okay. This will be a shock, but from, from the planet Choco. What a name. This is Princess Tira. Sanders, we come came to ask you to help us. And Choco, the comma, hackers have launched an attack. <laughs> this translation. <sighs> the surface was burned and we ran to the shelter. One of my ancestors, Cookie, told me to come here to see you. Princess, I'll tell him. Your explanation would take so long. Uh, okay. A Tetron is now in your possession. Use its power, Cookie's will said. The hackers of a fortress with a strong power. We need the Tetron to destroy it. Uh, it's hard to believe. 
But it's true. In exchange, it'll give you this. If you help me, you can use this, and we'll take you to Choco. Sanders has gotten the spaceship. What, did he just put it in my palm? <laughs> Here you go. Just put it in your pocket. It will take you anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Heck and comma hackers. I know, right? Now we must go. We'll be awaiting you news from you. Princess, shall we go? Okay. It's a small spaceship. It really is. And bigger on the inside? Okay, I see it. Yeah. Uh, please help us. We tried everything. Sanders meeting you has been my first ray of hope. Please help us. Okay. Achoko, we may meet again. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. There's a lot of weird pauses on the text scroll there. What do you think? I believe it. You too. I don't think they're so bad. Uh, these three Tetron. I've decided to give them to you. Use them well. All right, I have the stones again. Whatever it's in a capsule? Maybe, yeah. Just like you use capsules in this game, a giant robot comes out, right? Maybe it's the same thing. All right. Nagisa, save game. We're going to do something here. Something that I recall from a long time ago. A long, long time ago. In my S forward slash ship, I would go traveling. Neat, right? And... We are in space. This game's cool, okay? This game's cool. Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, you disappeared. No, that was weird. This is Choco. So you might think, well, there ain't shit to see out here. You're pretty much right. Except one thing. I just need to find it. I found it. Kirara, I think, is what I was looking for. Welcome to Kirara. Lost books from all time periods are collected here. You'll probably find what you need here. I, I will. This place has literally every inventor's friend book. So if you missed any of them, you are in the secret library. It's pretty cool. All the craft recipes you missed are here. We're going to read every book up to 33. Which I think after like 30, it, it increments by like 5 or 10 or something like that. We'll find out. 11, 12, 13... 14, 15, shield pack, 16, quick pack, 17 is bomb two, 18 is turbo pack. So I've already had these. If, the, if I already had them, it just tells you the information. If they're new, it looks like he has like a little spark, like an idea. Twenty-two cure. 23, clean. 24, repair. 25, laser one. 26, blade one. Looks like I haven't missed any. 27 is blade two. 28, bomb three. 29, shot three. 30, here we go. Shield five. We could just make shield five now. That's nuts. Oh, now it's every 10. 40. 50, there's 60, 70, and 80. Mm -hmm. We've met somewhere before, have we? Interesting. So yeah, this is the secret library. It has all the inventor's recipes. If you like grinding levels, you can get all the important recipes that you can just make with money. Pretty cool. 